We would like to welcome you to everything there is to know. This is our life. This is our time where the passport grows. We would like to welcome you to everything there is to know. This is our life. This is our time where the passport grows. We would like to welcome you to everything there is to know. This is our life, this is our time where the passport grows. We would like to welcome you to everything there is to know. This is our life, this is our time where the passport grows. Oh, oh, show. What's going on, brothers? IP here, International Passport here with the legendary Mr. Theo Waff. We're here for yet another classic, future classic live stream. First and foremost, though, if you hear me loud and clear, press a one in the live stream chat. Mayday, Mayday, check one, two, check one, two. Houston, do we have a problem? Houston, do we have a problem? Are we out there in space? Houston, do we have a problem? Brothers, type it in the live stream chat, type a one. If you hear me loud and clear, for you, am I good? I'm floating through space on Major Tom. <laughs> so, the earth below me, I say goodbye to my wife. Bye. That's it. I'm dead. <laughs> Theo is the main character in 2001 The Space Odyssey. If you know, you know. If you've seen that film, press a two in the chat. 2001 The Space Odyssey classic movie. Classic. You've seen that film, Theo? you seen it? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That was, that was influential. Yeah, classic. that's one of the reasons why I study astrophysics, without a doubt. Yeah. I like, love that you did? movie. Are you at university? Uh-huh. Oh. oh, wow. Astrophysics. Yeah. Wow, incredible. No, I still... I, that's my big regret that I didn't become an astrophysicist. So, Damn. oh well. Did you, yeah. was, that, was that one of your minors? Uh, I'm guessing. No, I, I didn't even minor in it. I minored in other things. I should have, uh, but I, you know, it's one of those ideas. I didn't think a black person could make it in astrophysics. Stupid, like <sighs> ridiculous. So, after I lost so much in my life, I went back into uh, studying astrophysics. Still love it. Um, one of my goals is you see the house I want to buy. I want to buy like this wonderful house that has a circular part to it. I actually want to put a telescope on top of it and be like an amateur astronomer and, um, you know, try to try to find stuff, you know, <laughs> like that would be really Maybe. cool. <laughs> yeah. That'd be super awesome. So let's go, man. Uh, what's up brothers. What's up. We're here for oh, another wait a minute. Classic. Somebody, somebody got a job in the chat. So somebody got the job. I wonder if I wonder if I know who that is, because there's a guy who's interviewing for a job for about one hundred and forty thousand. So if that's okay. him. Okay. Well yeah. done. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations. There well you done, go. Bro. Yeah. It it job as well. Hopefully fully fully remote. Brothers, see it's possible. It's po I know Jupiter. Shout out to Jupiter. Shout out to you, brother, for getting that job. Well done, bro. Mm -hmm. Well done. Awesome. And thanks for your help for you and helping them out. So uh, let's go for introductions. Who are you, Mr. Theo Waff? Break it down for the new people on this channel. Um, I'm Theo Waff. I'm, I've been a password bro for a long time. I've traveled over 40 countries, lived abroad over 20 years, um, speak four languages. I work in IT security, then cloud security, compliance, audit. Uh, I'm one of the, um, oh, good. I'm looking at Juniper right now. This is good. Uh, so I'm, what is it? <laughs> Sorry, I'm distracted. Uh, I um, I'm one of the teachers. Like IP, I teach uh, AWS and GCP, and then I also teach like advanced cloud. So uh, one of the things we're going to be doing in our group is um, making all the components necessary to make a uh, security operations center. I went and decided that yesterday, and I was like, oh yeah, we can do it. So let's do it. So we're going to spend some months um, trying to knock that out. So yeah, I'm one of the guys trying to. Uh, help guys get jobs well over $120,000 a year so that they can go to another country and actually work there and work remotely and then re re work remotely but date locally. That's what we that's what we want to do. Um, so, yeah, that's who I am. I'll give it back over wow, to you, bro. Ivy. You're going you're gonna, to uh, build a sock? Incredible, bro. Incredible. Yeah, we, we could actually, you could actually do the entire thing with Terraform. So you could actually build it and tear, tear it down and then the students would have the terraform necessary 
to build a sock for their companies. So, like, they could actually go to the company and design it and actually de deploy it there as long as I use GCP or AWS. So, uh, uh, I thought it was, I think it's a really cool uh, um, project. Uh, we started doing honeypots. One student really knocked it out. And I was like, hey, well, we can do honeypots and we can do attacks, penetration testing, right? So, I was like, okay, well, then why don't we just do monitoring for all the accounts? And for all the honeypots, and then collaborate that together in one central location and have Splunk running. And then I was like, "Whoa, we do that. We can do more. We can. There's a lot more we can do." I was like, "Wait, that's a sock." I'm like, okay, let's make a sock. So amazing! Thank you for the uh, the hard work you do, Theo. I'm international passport, uh, long time uh, traveler. Now a passport bro. But before the uh, the whole movement was a thing, the passport bros. I've been on YouTube for almost 10 years, pushing out the Intel and the travel content to brothers, get your passport, get your passport. It's taken off now. I mean, we still got work to do, so I'm happy with what I'm doing so far. I also teach Python weekly and shout out to my current students. If you're my current student in my, in my Python class, press a one in the live stream chat. If you're a current student of mine, press a one in the live stream chat. And there, I teach Python, Phil teaches cloud, Python and cloud together. Make sure the ultimate Python, uh, uh, passport bro working mm. IT remotely. So let's get straight into it, man. So the title of this live stream here is called The Poisons in the West. Um, what's it called? Uh, controlling you from leaving the West forever. Okay. So mm. what does that even mean? So some people ain't going to make it. I'll keep it a stack. Mm. Okay. Um, some people, okay, at this point in time, um, they are being controlled by certain, you know, uh, so-called ledger activities in the West, okay? And me and Theo here are going to break down the main thing that's oppressing men, that's, that's stopping men from, from crossing that line and becoming a passport, bro, from traveling, from even getting into IT. But if you're constantly spending most of your time, right, most of your time, okay, um, being distracted, right, doing leisure every day, you ain't going to build yourself to be that passport bro to get out of the West, okay? So let's break down the first aspect here that is affecting men, particularly and controlling men in the West, okay? And that is Netflix and all these entertainment video services, okay? Let, yeah. let me break down let, let me break down why, from my yeah. point, why that's a problem, right? Netflix in particular will drop a TV show, but they don't do it weekly. They do it all at once, okay? So let's say, for example, right, they will drop 20 new TV shows, okay? And then it'll be 20 episodes each. And people will just binge watch it for the whole day, for the whole week, after work, in the morning, during lunch, okay? That right there is brainwashing and programming. If you're spending most of your time, okay, just watching TV shows, where's the work into IT search going? Where's your Python work? Where's you traveling abroad and meeting new women and experiencing mm -hmm. new cultures? Break it down for us, Phil. I totally agree with you mm -hmm. on this one. Like, I, I, I amazingly agree with you on this. As far as I'm concerned, you need, um, you should probably get rid of your television. And not only that, get rid of all your subscriptions. Um, unless you can control yourself. So, I mean, for example um before i when i didn't have any cable like when i when star wars clone wars came out i'd have to wait for the episodes to drop on itunes and then i would buy the episodes from there and watch it and then uh for a while um i would only i, I went crazy and i i just got uh enough services so that i could watch the clone wars but that was all i watched i mean after that everything was turned off if you don't have that kind of discipline, you're going to have a hard time being a passport bro. And I'm not talking about just now. I'm talking about when I was 21 years old um, in 94. And um, I, I had a television so that I could watch X-Men, right? But I only watched X-Men at 10 o'clock on Saturday morning. So what I would do is I would go out, like I would work in the morning and read the Bible and uh, at the cafe, at, at the, sorry, at the, uh, what is it, the cafeteria. 
And then I would come home after I rode my bike a bit, um, eat a little bit at home, not that much, watch X-Men while I was exercising, and then I would disconnect the television and put it back into the closet, ride my bike again and go back to work. That's that's how devoted I was because I knew the television was a distraction. So you got to get rid of the television. And also, I mean, if you're doing um, Netflix, any kind of like Disney Plus, like anything that's like that that you're doing excessively, you need to get rid of it 100%. Or else you're not going to make it. There's it, like the discipline necessary to sit down and study 30 kanji a day for Japanese or like, you know, some sports or some sort of binge watching that you can watch some sort of series on television, that television is going to win. Guarantee you. Netflix is going to win. So you'll never get that language. So guys, just get rid of it. It's not worth it. Absolute facts. And, you know, not only does it take your time up, right, and stopping you from becoming a passport bro and actually doing things that are actually that will actually change your life, like getting IT certs, traveling, improving your skill set. It's also programming as well. Because mm -hmm. all these TV shows on Netflix, on on uh, on on Prime, on HBO Max, et cetera, et cetera, they're all hyper liberal TV shows, right? They demean men, they they put women as some sort of super superhumans that are better than men in every single thing. You know, it's a whole bunch of liberal stuff, liberal nonsense, right? That doesn't apply to us as average, you know, hardworking men that watch these TV shows. So, so you're getting brainwashed slowly, okay? You're getting programmed to become, to be simps, right? To agree on these ultra liberal values, okay? To take in messages, okay? They do it on purpose, right? That's how they brainwash people. And you, now you're now, you find yourself, you know, believing what they're telling you to believe. And that's not good because we, we as men should be conservative, right? Not liberal, not, not far left, but be conservative, real stand-up men. Ain't that right, Bill? Oh, I totally agree with you. And you're not going to get that by watching Netflix and chill, or even network Netflix at all. So, I mean, I see every, every once in a while on YouTube that there's some sort of series on Netflix that looks really interesting. Do you think I go out and get Netflix? No. Nope. The only time I had Netflix, you're going to think this is funny. The only time I got Netflix is because Neil deGrasse had Cosmos on it. And I wanted to see his astrophysics um, series. So I, I got Netflix for a while in order to watch that. And that was like a few months. I watched all the Cosmos and I was like, okay, I'm done. <laughs> and I, I got rid of Cosmos. I got rid of a... Uh, um, what is it? I got rid of Netflix entirely. Uh, so go on to the next point, with the, which I think the next point we have to do on. But um, I don't, if you're going to make yourself be the kind of man that you need to be, Netflix got to go. Facts. Absolute facts. Okay. So let's go on to the next point. Okay. So, brothers, you know, spending all day watching TV shows, even after work, four hours, five hours, it's not going to help you. Break out the matrix at this point is poison towards brothers. Hold on, I gotta, make a, here, I gotta make another comment. I gotta make a comment real quick. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, somebody is in the, in the chat is saying Netflix is free with T Mobile. <laughs> no, it's not free because it's gonna cost you your certifications, your ability to study another language, your ability to focus on becoming a passport bro. That's gonna keep you locked in a certain area in a cage mentally in the United States. So, T, so Netflix is not free. It comes with a cost, and that's the opportunity cost that you have when you're spending time watching it. So get rid of it. There's no reason to have it. Yeah. Facts. And a, a, a last point here on my end. So uh, I've not watched a TV show in, and I, and I mean this, I've not watched a full TV show in, I think in just over two years now, mm -hmm. um, for a long time. I don't even have a TV. And I'm, I'm being real. I don't have a TV in my apartment. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't have either. a TV. <laughs> no. so obviously if i if i bring chicks over right if, if i was you know if i wasn't a passport bro bringing in western chicks over don't look at me funny ip where's the tv <laughs> mm. nope. I, don't, I don't have time to watch tv shows bruv it's studying it's the channel it's it's, it's uh, improving my skill set it's, mm. it's traveling it's building myself up as a man while i'm still in the west 
Time is of the essence. You can't get time back. Yeah, exactly. You cannot get it back. So if you're going to watch TV, you have to be strategic about it. So only if it's going to make you better or only as like a reward, something that's special. So, for example, the only time that you ever see me watching TV is if I'm watching like the NCAA championships or the NBA championships. That's about it. Or some sort of like, like Euro cups thing, some world cup thing, something like that. That's it. And I don't do it in my house. I go out someplace else. I actually talk with people while I'm watching and I, it's a one-time thing and I go back home afterwards. Um, right now my university is in the sweet 16 and the NCAA championship for basketball. Um, I didn't even see it. And I love my team. I didn't see it. I didn't watch it. I, I'm going to watch some highlights. That's about it. I mean, it's just not worth it. I got to do AI. I got to make a security operations center. I don't have time for that. <laughs> facts, bro. Absolute facts. All right. Before going to the next point, I've got two super chats here. Shout out to Josh John for the support. Appreciate you, Josh John, for the support. As always, thank you, bro. Always looking forward to seeing you both on Monday. Salute. Thank you for the kind words, John. Appreciate you, bro. Shout out to Mr. Joe Biden. We got the president of the United States up in here watching our channel. Wow. Jeez. Joe Biden, uh, um, give us a tax break, please. <laughs> Chuck it, uh, for the support. I got addicted to watching IP. How can I break it? <laughs> Keep watching IP, but I, think I give you value. You know, we're giving you value here to improve your life. IT, travel content. You got to balance your time. You know, watch the channel. Then spend another time studying, another time uh, for self improvement. All about balance. Okay. All right. So now the next point here I want to discuss here, okay, is yeah. Tron. Okay. When I say Tron, you know what I'm Tron. referring to, right? Woman, yep. Yeah, you know, woman doing certain activities on the web, adult content. Okay. Mm. But we call it Tron. Tron. So why, why is Tron a problem? Right now, I say Tron is probably one of the major problems, one of the major problems stopping men from becoming passport bros. Let me tell you why, okay? You're watching women, right, doing certain acts on, on your phone, on your laptop, on your TV, however you watch it, right? Mm -hmm. but, it's, but you're not experiencing that in person. You're, you're not actually feeling that woman on you, okay? So, so, there's, so there's, there's an illusion. There's an illusion in your head right now, okay? Some of y'all may be obsessed with a, a, a particular Tron star. She's beautiful, whatever. And, you know, just, just seeing her get in action on TV, on your phone, is enough to keep you fulfilled. Mm -hmm. But guess what, brothers? She, she's not in front of you. She's not, she's not the real thing. You ain't actually doing it with her. You're watching her do it. Yeah. Don't you want don't you want the real thing in front of you? She's, you know, half half dressed, keeping it PG. She's 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 looking at you right in the eye. Don't you want to be abroad with a foreign chick that's right in front of you? But some men are satisfied just watching Tron, right, as a coping mechanism. Brothers, we gotta stop coping as brothers. We gotta mm. stop coping. Tron is coping. Get the real mm. thing. And have her in front of you and do what you want with her. Ain't that right, Phil? Uh yeah. So part of the the problem that you're having in the West is it's a danger for a man to actually have a connection with a woman in that manner. And so therefore men are using alternatives, which are of course like the chat is saying copium. And that has been used widely. I, I would say, because at least the, what the, what the men the, what the men are thinking is at least it's safe. They're not losing their jobs, they're not losing their careers. They can get to the next day on it. Um, what I would say, guys, is um, that's not going to be that shouldn't be a replacement for going abroad. Because when you go abroad, you're going to be engaging with women who are wonderful, and you can be a normal person which is you, you don't have to be repressed, which is exactly what you're having in the West because women in the West 
are weaponizing any kind of normal, what can I say, healthy relationship that you want to have against you. And therefore, it's not even like we're just talking about a normal, healthy relationship. It's not worth it to have it to have it in the West at all. So because of the weaponization. So, yeah, I mean, I, I sympathize, guys. I, I know what you're going through. Um, when I went, went to Japan back in 97, it wasn't like it is right now because right now, I mean, it's everywhere. I mean, you don't have to do anything. Back then, you had to actually had to do some effort to to engage in that kind of media. So it wasn't even a temptation for me back then. And back then, of course, I was talking to Japanese women every day, and I had good relations with them. And the more I knew them, the more I wanted to get on the airplane. So, yep, I you know, learned 3,000 kanji. I got on the airplane. That's it, right? Um, but if you have it all over the place, I don't know how you're going to get on the airplane i don't know how you're gonna be a study it really doesn't make sense it you know studying three thousand, sorry 30 kanji a day seems like a lot of effort and a little bit of dopamine compared to a 15 minute hit you can get on your phone so guys get rid of the content you'll do much better and this this is also for of this is also for instagram my goodness instagram like I just hmm. discovered it basically. Oh my goodness. That place is deadly. So get rid hmm. of the app. It's not going to be good for you. And then also, I say it's pretty much in the same vein. Get rid of all dating apps. It's not, it doesn't help you. The the part on, on Tron, right? You know, in my opinion, brothers, the powers that be want young men hooked on Tron. Without, without a single doubt the powers that be want young men hooked on it right because guess what young men hooked on tron can't change things in the country can't change their condition they are mindless uh, they are mindless drones that's what the powers that be want but you gotta break out the matrix man tron mm -hmm. is a huge part of the matrix you're watching chicks that you will never ever have in in real life but guess what you don't want those chicks. They've been ran through. So right. Guess what? Go, go, go abroad and find you your queen. Yeah. I mean, you're not, I, I, sometimes, I mean, I, I get it. I understand it because when I was, um, originally when I came to Japan, um, I mean, it's prevalent in Japan there. I mean, I'd never seen such media like that before. And I kind of understood why some of the Japanese guys weren't approaching the women. And I, there's a lot that I understood that I saw there. So uh, part of it I understood was, was because of how prevalent that was, the media. And then, of course, the United States just engulfed, made Japan look like nothing compared to what they had because they, they had broadband. Um, so it, I don't, I saw it, started seeing it happening to more, you know, to younger men, like again, millennials and uh, younger guys. Um, I'm Gen X. We didn't have this problem. No, man. We, if we want to talk to a woman, you know, it, it was, <laughs> we had, we had to go talk to her. We didn't have cell phones. So we had to go there and talk to her and get rejected. If we called her house, that means the parents opened, talk, her, talk to us first. And, you know, we had like cojones of iron <laughs> steel. <laughs> it, was, it was horrible. I, I look back and like, wow, we took it hard, man. That was bad. Um, so guys, get rid of the get rid of the medium, learn the language, learn the history, go there and talk. And those women will really appreciate that you put the effort in. You'll actually have a normal relationship. Kind of like Romel in Thailand and Vietnam. See he's chilling out. Shout out to him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's how you want to be. Absolute facts, absolute facts. But was get rid of Tron, get rid of it, uh, and control your your intake of Tron. Okay, it's yeah. it's the, it's part of the matrix. It would stop you from achieving your goals and objective if you're too hooked on it. So the next point, okay, we want to discuss here is video games, mm. and video games is, you know. 
is again is plugged in very well within the matrix video games are a problem let's keep it a stack brothers and, and, and let me give you my personal experience with video games okay mm -hmm. so back in the day i used to play call of duty all day i used to play fifa i used to play battlefield i used to play crash bandicoot final fantasy mm -hmm. and i spent hours upon hours playing video games big time and mm -hmm. i thought to myself right at one stage, I was playing video games from 5 p.m., brother, all the way to 4 a.m. in the night. And I remember my, I remember my 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 mom coming into my bedroom and saying, IP, you, you, IP, you've been playing video games for that long. What are you doing? And then the next day, I thought about, I thought about it to myself. I'm thinking, yo, why do I play video games so much? And there's one key point here, brother. Immersion and escaping from reality. Uh -huh. Escaping from reality, bro. Uh -huh. I remember I, I come home from 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 school, from high school, right? I come home sometimes from work back in the day, okay? And I just play video games to escape from reality, the harshest of life, you know? Because guess what? When you're playing video games, you're you're in that world. But guess what? That world ain't real. It ain't real. What 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 what's happening now with me and Phil speaking? This is real. You're not playing a video game, right? And and you know. Uh, 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 bust up a few caps on, on the ops, right, in, in Call of Duty Black Ops. And I'm thinking, bruv, this ain't real. It's not mm. improving my life. Right? Mm. I, essentially, right, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in a Genjutsu and shout out to Naruto, you know? It, it ain't real. Break it down for us, Phil. Yeah, so one of the things that I did when I was in high school was I gave up all video games. Um, I, This I also gave up television and I gave up all attempt to look at um, saucy media. Tron. I also gave up movies. And um, I did that from 1989 to 2002. And during that time, the amount of growth that I had was massive. And the foundation for me to becoming a passport bro and traveling the world and speaking different languages was laid very well not only from languages, but from all the communication and skills that I had, the ability to empathize with other people, learn, communicate, analyze, all of that came from that time period when I didn't have any of that media. Now, um, <laughs> I saw the effect of Final Fantasy. I was in Japan. I saw what it did to my students. If my student was in Final Fantasy, I was just it was touch and go to talk to that guy. It was always a guy. It was very rarely a woman, girl. Um, he was gone. Firstly, Final Fantasy VII, oh my goodness, Riku, <laughs> took students away. Um, of course, there's, there's Call of Duty. I have a Call of Duty um, console here. I've barely ever used it. I want to tell you guys something else. I'm going to show you guys something. Like I just got this out. This is... Um, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Grand Theft Auto Five. This is from 2008. I finally just got this out. I have never finished this game. Not only that, I haven't done even 5% of it. And I stopped playing it in 2008. I only had it for a while because I lost my wife. My point is to you guys is you're not going to get anywhere by actually playing the games. You're not. They're too immersive. And what I always say is if you're going to play a video game, it has to have a time limit. So at least back in the day when I was playing at, at, at the arcade, I put a quarter in and I could only play for a certain amount of minutes because the games were designed to kill me. And I only had so many quarters, so I can only be there for so long, right? Fair mm -hmm. enough. When I play games now, I have a rule. It can only be maximum two hours. And I only choose a game that can, that can go on for two hours. And then I only have it on a unit that's disconnected from the rest of my systems. So I don't have, I don't have easy access to it. My, I have, I have a PlayStation four, PlayStation four pro. I have two Xboxes. I forgot which ones they are. Uh, you see, I don't even know which ones are. I only update them like once a year, once every two years, get the bios update that takes forever. And then it, it gathers dust. Why? I don't have time. It's too much time guys. You could be doing so much more. So, I mean, I've got 
over 50 guys who are earning a, each at, at least an additional $100,000 extra per year and doing IT, and they can all work remotely. Do you think that would have been possible if I was doing, um, you know, a, 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 like a Star Wars game? Or, um, you know, this one, like, again, there's Grand, what, Grand Theft Auto 6? I think that came out. I don't think, maybe it's not out. Um, it was, I don't even know the games. Do you, if I would have been playing the games, do you think this would happen? No! I'd be playing my games. So, you guys gotta get rid of it. Um, we see over, what, over their shoulder? What, no, this, this shoulder. <laughs> this one, this one. There, there are games behind me. It's on the shelf, right? They mm -hmm. stay right there. They never move. I wish I forget. I ever, like in December, I try to play some games right around like Christmas, and then I just forget it for the rest of the year. And I can't even play ten minutes. I got no time. Got to teach these people AWS and GCP. Got no time for that. So, uh, guys, the opportunity costs are too much to play the games. You will not make it abroad. You will not advance your career. You will not advance your life if you are immersed in these worlds, especially Final Fantasy. I know there's other ones now that are worse, but I remember what that did. That just, poor students, they were gone. Um, stop doing it, guys. Just don't do it. Not worth it. Facts. You know, uh, video games are a big cope. They are a massive cope. Um, and, and video games don't allow you to address your problems that you have in reality, right? You're, you're immersing into a different world. But guess what, right? That world ain't real. That world ain't real. Final Fantasy isn't real. GTA may be ruining some parts in America, but um, a room in general is a video <laughs> game. So, yeah, you know, I like that. GTA's easily real some parts of America. That was good. <laughs> you know, and obviously they they they, they, they got um they, they got GTA six coming out next year. And yeah. that, of course, um, that, that that might be a game changer. That might just you know get brothers really plugged in in the matrix, seeing how GTA looks right now. Don't get distracted by GTA 6 or any other video games. You have a mission to complete, become a passport pro, get into IT, and break out the West Matrix. Okay? Well, it's as simple even, as that. If you're going to play the game, then only play it if you go abroad. But even if you go abroad, that's an issue. So don't be playing it that much. I mean, I would say only, only play a video game if you were, like, in another country, you've got a solid girlfriend. So then you have something to compare it to, right? I mean, I was, I remember in uh, 2008 when I lost my wife, because this is when I had PlayStation 3. I finally found my PlayStation 3. So I, I actually have it up here. That's why I have this game up here. Um, I, was, I was talking to a Filipina most of the time. So I didn't really have time for this. I, I, I was either working or talking to the Filipina. Right? So what am I going to do? Or I was going to Thailand, or, or I was going to Singapore, stuff like that, and having crazy times. <laughs> so, um, guys, don't do the games, please, please. I also Even though they're cool, upon, it may, 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 may be, it may be in a separate arena, but you know, obviously, the recently Apple released that new that new gadget when you pull over mm. your face. You know, the, mm. the 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 VR stuff that mm. could be an even bigger problem when it once it really takes off. Again, mm. that's more immersion. That's more distraction. Okay, you're on, you're in a false world. You're not in not you're not in a real world, right? You 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 you're touching things that aren't really there. You're you're playing games that aren't really there. Spending hours upon hours in a different world. What about getting the, the certain IT in the real world? What about getting your passport? What about investing I... in crypto? You know, don't yeah. let these just brother the powers that be want y'all distracted. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all ain't gonna make it. Sorry for your but Some 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 of y'all ain't gonna make it, bruv. Some of y'all ain't gonna make it, and that's sad. You're too plugged in, in the matrix. Don't get too plugged in, in the matrix, man. Go on, man. Go on, bro. Yeah, I, I totally agree with you. And we're when we're talking about AI, okay, AI and virtual world, the, the virtual screen thing that Apple's coming out, that is the end. I look at that with horror. So I've been watching AI, kind of like space, spicy AI on um, Instagram. And for the most part, I can tell that it's AI. And then there was one profile. One of the things that I look for to see if it's a human being or not are off-the-cuff off 
mistakes. So I look to see if a, if a woman is kind of like girlish, but she's doing amateur m- mistakes and she's kind of being like goofy, right? And I saw one AI that actually I saw one I, for me, I thought it was, it was a woman. I thought for sure this was real. And she was the way she was acting in a sexual and kind of really young manner. It, I thought she was a, a real person and <sighs> no, she wasn't. And I was like, are you serious? So I was going through all the lighting and trying to figure out how, how they did it mathematically, like how they actually made that so they could fool me. Cause I have pretty good eyes. I, I've been, I'm used to watching this kind of stuff, especially with AI. I've been seeing the development. And I was like, wait a minute, this is dangerous because if they can, if, if they can c- convince you that this is a real one, well, then you can get an AI girlfriend who's always 22 years old. Damn. I was like, Damn. oh no, oh no, this is bad. This, no, 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 this is bad. Bad, 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 bad. No, we don't want this. No. And then the next point in this, I've always told my students is with that vision, okay. Uh, a woman can always interact with a man who's always listening to her, always being like, again, the perfect image that she wants and she, engaging in conversation that she wants all the time in, in all levels. And the only thing is that he's not spending money on her. She has to uh, spend money for the program instead. So she's paying for it. But all you have to do is use that with some adult content. Ah. It's over. Ah. It's over, yeah, bro. It's bro, over. Bro, you know, so, brother, some some brothers will actually take that kind of reality over going abroad and actually finding a girlfriend and a wife abroad in, in, yeah. in physical form, bro. They're thinking, they're thinking, brother. What's the point? You know, what's the yeah. point? I'm in, I'm in my home country. I'm comfortable. I know I know the environment. She may not be real, but she makes me happy. She ain't yeah. real, bro. She ain't real. She Again, that, 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 that's part of the elites and the matrix to keep you plugged in in the matrix. Because guess what? There is a matrix. And this matrix right now is oppressing men, keeping men weak, keeping you keeping men being simps and part of the simp economy and paying for OF content. Get yeah. your passports, man. Yeah, get, yeah. get your pass. Disconnect. You do not want to be a part of this. This is stuff, this... The stuff that I'm seeing, the, the the degree of being able to give you like human interaction is so great that you would have no, even like leaving your house like five miles would be too much for you. You just stay at home. There's no reason for you to do anything. So it's, it's kind of like ready player one. That's what we're going towards. And you guys, if, man, if they can do it right now, if, if they can fool me right now, it's not all it takes is a, like another year, another six months. They're gonna they're gonna do some really big damage, like huge levels of damage. It's 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 just a question of time. All you need is high resolution screens, and um, some more programming and some more mathematical algorithms and equation to make the pixels, basically your skin tone, look in a certain way and act in a certain way. That's all it is. Um, dude, man, got gotta get out of it. Gotta get out of it, man. It's, uh, it's sad to say that I don't think some brothers will make it, and that's unfortunate. Yeah. Uh, shout out to uh, Mister, uh, shout out to Mister Josh John for the support again. Uh, while we're talking on the topic of discipline and learning new things, I have a question for your IP. I struggle to stay consistent in the gym. Advice, you go there first, feel. Uh, buy a uh, buy a gym in your house, <laughs> get some bands, and uh, actually lift in your house. That would be the first thing. Um, get a an app or s- some videos. If you're friends with me on Facebook, you will notice that on my Facebook profile, I post gym photos, like gym videos, workout videos, all the time. My Instagram, if you actually can find my Instagram, I follow gym influencers all the time to get exercise ideas and i actually do them um if you have a little bit more money get a personal trainer like i have and then you're forced to go to the gym and die and suffer like i did today when i can can i can barely sit down 
that's how you do it. And you, if you're if you're weak in that area, pay money. And I know you're you know you may not have all the money in the world, but I would say my personal training that I that I pay for it it prevents me from being an absolute blimp. I'm serious. I don't know how big I would be without that. So get something. Do put some money in that area. You'll be better. Thanks for that. Shout out to Mr. Uh, Marius P uh, for the support. Thank you, bro. Uh, brothers need to get out of the country and see what's out there. It will change everything. Yes, indeed. Uh, I'm trying to get into security engineering. How can we reach uh, for your wife? Uh, you need to join uh, IP's, at least IP's Facebook group, if not his Patreon. From there, you can find me out. Awesome. Thanks for that, Theo. Uh, shout out to uh, Mr. Uh, Pre Buttle for the support. Which IT career certifications do you recommend? Book an uh, IT consultation with me, brother, ASAP. Yeah. And a Calendly. I can give you some advice there, bro. Okay. Yeah. Do a consultation with IP. That's This isn't the place to talk about that right now. This will be a long conversation, bro. It's in, it's in the right place at the moment. Book it on, on my Calendly link that I post in the live stream mm -hmm. chat. Shout out to Mr. Andrew Ski Gordon. What's up, Andrew Ski, the, the, the Korean master? What's, what's going on, bro? Um, when I'm not studying cloud, language study is my free time. Watching a K drama without English subtitles or writing in my Korean journal. What's your thoughts about that feel? <laughs> um, that's good. That's actually the proper way of doing it. So when I got really good in Japanese, I was watching J drama uh, all the time. So it was I'd have to rent it from the local Korean store in my university, and I would. Uh, it was like two dollars, three days worth of of videos. And I go home and watch just just watch J Japan dramas. Um, it was worth it because again, when I got to Japan, I knew all the dramas that were on television. I could talk to women about them because they were the ones who were watching them, and I knew all the actors and actresses. I knew the content. I knew what was about to come back on in the fall. I knew what was going to be there, and I knew most of the vocabulary. So they were really impressed with that. So, uh, yeah, I, I, if you're going to do it that way, let's do it. Just don't do subtitles. You'll be just fine. Awesome. Awesome. So the next point here uh, I want to touch upon right now <laughs> is a point that I think applies to not only America, but every other Western country that we're from. And that's breaking the illusion that America is the best country in the world and every other country is unsafe, dirty, and not as good as America. You got to break out that thinking okay uh -huh. i have met people okay who i spoke to online who are american okay who may be canadian and have no interest in traveling anywhere outside of the north america region oh it's dangerous in that country oh america is the best country in the world no it isn't no it isn't that's why the passport bros exist if america was the best country in the world why are the women so horrible <laughs> Where's the wives? You know, <laughs> and they, 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 I keep it a stack. But you know, they they train you, brothers. They train you to say America's the best, America's the greatest, England is the best, UK is the best, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You know, a, a, a liberty, rights, freedom. Are, are y'all free? Are y'all free right now? Mm -hmm. I mean, yesterday I dropped a video about a university professor telling his students to go to go, to, to go become a passport, bro. And he's in trouble for saying that. That's not yeah. freedom. So how, how yeah. can you be the best country in the world where you can't even have freedom of speech? Can you can you start thinking, please? Can you start mm. thinking critically, brothers? Mm. Break it down for us, Phil. I, I definitely agree. So the, the, the prevalent idea is America is the best country in the world. So therefore, um, American women are the best women in the world. And if they don't choose you, it's because you need to level up. You need to do more and it's your fault right and then if you're not able to get a job it's also because of you right and the, all the responsibility for performing is for the man whereas the state just sits back and takes your tax money and then the woman takes whatever is left over <laughs> why you guys would be in that system i have no idea why would you participate i have no i literally have no idea so I, I pay taxes, of course, to the government because I, I get paid on W-2. So, I mean, they, the government gets their cut first, right? Um, mm -hmm. But the women don't get a dime. I don't, I don't I don't go to coffee with them. I don't spend any time with them, nothing, zero. 
I refuse to spend any time with American women, period. Um, <laughs> you guys are in the system right now um, thinking that you're actually benefiting yourselves or doing something good, and you're not. You need to get out as soon as possible. When I set foot in Japan uh, as an adult, and I was got my had my work visa, I looked around, and I was just like, why the hell did I ever spend any time in the United States? Why was I even born there? It, it was so good in Japan. I was like, <laughs> this is uh, this is paradise. So why you guys you guys are thinking you're actually winning on a sinking ship. That's what it is. It's like, you know, the Titanic, you watch it, got those guys playing like violin and they're they're you know, doing music while the ship is sinking. That's you. So get out. There's no benefit for you to be here. Get out. Facts. Facts. Again, when they tell y'all brothers, when they tell y'all brothers, this is the best country in the world. Everything is here. All the opportunities, right? To live the best life here. Again, that's a lie told to you by the elites, the ones who control the matrix to keep you oppressed, to keep you delusional. Right? If that was the case, the movement called the passport bros wouldn't exist. Right? Yeah. But you, you, you got to start thinking as to everything the West does to keep you being lied to, to keep you distracted. That's why there's so many TV shows on Netflix. That's why there's so many uh, music albums coming out every week. It's mm -hmm. to keep you on this Western dope. Right, there's this Western D U D U R G, mm -hmm. and it's sad to say that some of y'all just ain't gonna make it, man. No, you're too plugged into the matrix. You're too plugged in, and it's sad. I, I gotta say a comment real quick on here because yeah. I'm yeah. looking at the chat, looking at one guy saying, "I helped pay my parents' houses and debt, and I'm gone." No, bro, you will never leave. You're just using that as a copium. That's it. My parents had debt on their house. That's right. You know what I did? I went to Japan. From Japan, I paid off the, my parents' debt in my house, in their house. That was like $15,000. Paid it off. It only took me four months to do. And I also paid off all the debt that I had in America as well in that four months. You, If I would have stayed in the United States in 97, I would never have paid that debt off. I would have mm -hmm. always had something else to buy, some other distraction, something else. I need to buy this, buy that, and no. The, um, I was saving like $3,000 a month in the beginning in Japan when I was working. So I was working in my job, and then I had side jobs. You're, I, I was saving, like my, my fixed costs in Tokyo was $1,000 a month. You're not going to get that kind of price structure living in the United States. You're just not. And I, I, you know, I was making between four to $6,000 a month. You're not going to get that kind of ability. Not just English teaching. If you're if you're doing remote work as a as an IT like cloud guy, you're gonna be making seven eight thousand dollars a month after taxes minimum. Especially if you do like our program, we do IP and my program. Oh yeah, you're making it. So what are you talking about staying in the in the states in the West to pay that kind of stuff? You will never leave. I've seen guys do this. You will never leave. And what's gonna happen? You gotta keep on working. Get a little alcohol in you, a little honey. Keisha's going to shake it. That's it. Then she's got you. You're always going to be a wage slave for someone else. And mm. then you're going to talk about what you could have done, but you never did. You don't need to go back to school. You need to get on an airplane and get out of the country. You need to go someplace else. Um, yeah, you can do a remote skill. Join our class. Get a remote skill. I got people with only... I got guys who are felons with only a high school degree getting jobs, getting six figures. So what's your excuse? Are you a felony? Are you a felon? Because they can do it. What's your excuse? They can do it. Guarantee it. Keisha is all over you. She's gonna. She's just waiting like like a spider. Gonna wait to get that time. Make get that money. Cash flow going to her. Turning around saying you ain't ish. That's what happens. And then you're state. You're stuck. 
you know, never leaving. And you're seeing a bunch of brothers in these on our groups leaving, having a great time while you're stuck with Keisha and your money never accumulates, it's never enough. And then she's gonna have a reason to go out and ride the CC with another guy and blame you for it. That's what you got. That's the West. You want that? Get out now. Get out as soon as you can. Facts. Uh, let me ask that, brother, and it goes into my next point, right? It's attachments, right? Yep. Uh, attachments in the oh. West is part of the matrix. Uh, it's, it's always something that I've got to do that first before I go abroad, or yep. I've got to take care of this first before I go abroad, or, you know, I've I, I got, I got to patch things up with someone before I go abroad. No, how about, how about you leave tomorrow? How yeah. about you leave as soon as possible? Right, having it, you know, and and guess what, right? And I think uh, this this also applies to many brothers here, right? We all love our parents, we love our dad, and we love our moms. Okay, most of us do. Okay, but I speak yeah. from I speak from my personal experience. I love my dad, and and I love my mom. Okay, but guess what, right? You know, um, I speak to some brothers, and they don't want to leave their parents. They they don't want to leave their their you know their family behind their brothers sisters their cousins man man everyone's in america bro i'm, I'm gonna miss them but brother what about your happiness if you ain't happy in america you can't let anyone keep you in that country you gotta leave yeah you love your family yeah you can see them every day but what about your personal happiness and your development what about meeting great women abroad what about being free and being in a different culture that isn't Western, that isn't feminist, that isn't, you know, controlling, that isn't the matrix? Detach yourself from such attachments. You, you can still love someone. You, you can still be in touch with your family when you're abroad. Guess what, right? Zoom exists. Skype exists. Video, uh, 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 video call uh, your families. You know? It's, stop saying, i, I got to do that. Uh, uh, my family's here. Just flipping leave, bruv. Yeah. That's what the Matrix wants you to do. Keep you attached to these uh to, to people and possessions in the West. But you ain't happy, bruv. Yeah, I, I'm gonna comment on that. Guys, when I left, there wasn't Facebook. The email had just come out, basically. Um, there was no free email accounts in Japan. NTT control NTT controlled the entire market. So you couldn't, you could barely get like a 56 dot, what, a 56 dot 7K connection to your house. And if you did, you couldn't rent the connection. You actually had to buy an entire connection. Like you basically had to buy a T1 in order to, that's what the Japanese that love them, all the phone lines did. So it was all analog. So when I left, I left one way ticket without any way of communication communicating back as far as i was concerned I, i'll never forget this day thursday um august 28th 1997 when i got when i was in the airplane when i was at the airport when i got on that airplane i had no way of communicating with anyone back in the states and as far as i was concerned they were going to die in my eyes i was never going to see them again in my entire life including my parents and that was the last time that I saw my parents together. It was the last time I saw my father. When I got on the airplane with no regrets, looked one way, didn't look back, kept on going, got to my seat, and went one way to Tokyo. You have got to have that kind of determination. And you guys have, like, you got, I mean, you're on your phones, you can FaceTime people now, you got email, you got Instagram, you got, you got all kinds of stuff you can communicate with people. What's up? Just go. You're not going to miss anyone. When I landed, the people didn't even know if I was kidnapped or not. I had no way of communicating back. I was no, I, I had to figure out how to get uh, like long distance international phone call back to the United States. I, you know, it wasn't like here, here you go ahead and have it. You in Japan, especially as a foreigner, you have to register first in the local city hall before you get the right identification before you can actually get a phone, get a cell phone, particularly back then. I don't know what it is about now, but back then, 100%. So none of us could get cell phones for at least three weeks when we when we went to Japan. We had no way of communicating back at all. And if we had the cell phone, it was only for Japan. We couldn't communicate internationally. We had to go to a different inter like telephone box 
in order to do an international communication. You guys got it good. So if you're talking about attachment, which I know a lot of you guys got, screw that. Get on the airplane. Those people aren't benefiting you. They're just, they, they, they want your attention and resources. That's it. Get on the airplane, go someplace that's beneficial for you. Facts, facts. Put yourself first, brothers, or you're going to have regrets. You know, when you're, when you're 60, 70, you don't want to look back saying, I wish I did that when I was 35. I wish I did that when I was 25 or when I was 30, right? Don't have any regrets. The time is now. Get your passport detached from the matrix and go and live, you know, to your full potential abroad. So those are all my points there. You want to add? Do you have any other points before we start reacting to some clips for this week, guys? I would say again, I'm watching your, I'm watching the, the the chat. What I'm seeing is FUD, which is fear, uncertainty, and doubt. You guys are some guys are promoting this this idea of you can't do it because of this, because of that. Screw that. I'm serious. Find a way that other people have done like I did take that path, get a one way ticket and leave and you'll be fine. Nothing. No one's going to kidnap you abroad. You're going to have your life and you're never going to want to return back. You're going to look at your life that you had in the West as being subpar inferior and zero compared to life you have abroad. So go for it. The West is over. Go abroad. You will have a much better time. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. <clears throat> Shout out to uh, Mr. Donny Avalon for the support. Thank you, Donny. Appreciate you, bro. Uh, you brothers are inspiring me. Uh, just got in, in an argument with my Keisha. See you in class tomorrow, Theo. Appreciate you both for the support. Thank you. Thank yeah, you, Donny. We're going to have a fun time tomorrow. It's going to be wild. <laughs> we're going to enjoy ourselves tomorrow. Yeah. Awesome. Um, and somebody was saying who my, my trainer, my, yes, I have, I have a Brazilian trainer and yes, she is a woman. So one of my trainers is, is Brazilian. Awesome. Awesome. All right. So let's react to some clips again. Uh, if you have any clips you want me to react to, uh, in, in next week's, uh, a passport bro show, hit me up on IG, send me a DM on IG, the video clip or the clips and I will react to it, Okay. So let's react to uh, a few clips that were interesting and trending this week, okay? So I'm going to share my screen for you, okay? And we're going to interview uh, the Young Tax who spoke about the passport pros over the past couple of days, okay? Let's break it down. So I watched it. I got some time stamps from it, and uh, I want us to react to it, okay? So give me one second, please. Uh, that's the one, okay. Present. Uh, share screen. Uh, share screen. Uh, passport bros are fed up with American women. I wonder why. Okay, let's go. <clears throat> so, can you see my screen for you? Yeah, I can find it. Okay, let's go. Let's react. You didn't import. I did, I did not import my, my <laughs> wife. No. Make that very clear. Oh, God. Okay. Ugh. I mean, look, I love my country and I love my people. And when I say people, I mean Americans in general. And so I kind of don't like dissing Americans, it turns me off. Mm -hmm. But if people need to travel outside of America to find their partner, okay. Yeah, first of all, it's not like you call it passport bros, that doesn't make it new or whatever. Like going somewhere where the dollar can be stretched further and you think you'll have more control over the women that you entered in a relationship, that's not new. That's like, that's a really old thing. So, and you could do it. By the way, by the way, the, the thing that I don't know that. I feel so obviously, we, we, we see a a video clip here of the Young tax reacting to passport bros. So they're a big channel here, um, overall in the in the new space. Okay, mm -hmm. so obviously the woman, based on her voice, she's kind of annoyed that passport bros even exist. She's thinking, why do you go go abroad? Uh, you, you want to break down why we go abroad for you, and what's your thoughts on the clip so far? Because we want women who are superior to her, <laughs> and we can find them with better quality more value, much more family oriented, more educated and better value, better quality, better everything than what she is. And that's what we're going for. And this kind of guy, simp, he needs to go abroad. 
this is the kind of guy who's definitely he's stuck in the matrix so bad man man his cojone, cojones have been disconnected from him for a long time <laughs> so he has got nothing there he's a eunuch as far as i'm concerned he has no idea what the heck he's talking about uh we're not here we're not controlling women we're out to enjoy a quality life with better women and they're not found in the west we know it because we went abroad we found the real women it's kind of like you know a used ford versus a new bmw we want the new bmw you can stick with the old ford and think that you're actually getting some quality you're not but for some reason you think you are facts facts so let's react to uh, uh this this part of the clip over here guys like you know these are guys who are just like frustrated with the women whereas there they're super elegant we're trash in this country we're utter trash by the way the, by the way we're really there's fast. such wide variety in, in the united states yeah, yeah yeah there's trash if that's your thing sure there's also a lot of classy beautiful independent educated women like i got the last one there sorry there are 330 million people in america like why are we all like, trash no but that's the thing like I'll, I'll tell you why you know we go abroad um they mentioned that you know there's over 300 million people in America. I don't, I don't give a damn about numbers here. I'm all about quality, right? I don't want this boss babe, independent chick. I don't need no man. I got my own money. Keep that away from me, okay? That's, that's a problem right there. That's, 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 the, that's the main problem we have in the West, mm -hmm. this boss babe, independent woman mentality, this feminist mentality, okay? Now, it's sad to say, but the average American chick isn't wifey. She ain't wifey. And uh, the lady on the Young Turks has to accept that. It's not about quantity. It's about quality. Give me a good quality woman that I can build with, I can have children with, and make her wifey. And we can't find that in America, or it's very, very rare. And, and that's the case. But when we go abroad, quality is in abundance. But in mm. the West, though, quality is of very few in the right field. I totally agree with you. It is very, very few. And in terms of trash, there's a great variety of trash in the West. That's all you got is variety of trash, not a variety of good women. No, a variety of trash. And that's what she's advocating. She's like, why don't you go out with this trashy woman? Maybe you get a better result. Maybe this one. Look, the United States in particular, the divorce rate is 50% with 80 with the 80 percent of those divorces filed by the women. That's trash. We're done. We're not dealing with that. We're not engaging in that kind of environment. It's not going to happen. But as far this kind of woman says the men should continue as long as they are objects of resource transfer to women legally through the system and or they give attention to the women. As long as that is going on, they are supporting their gynocentric system. When we go out and we don't give them our time or our money, their gynocentric structure uh, collapses immediately. And that's what we have to do for our own sanity because the system they have designed and created has no benefit to men whatsoever. So guys, get your passport and leave. You have no option, really. Get out of the country. Get out of the West. Facts. Facts. Like okay. the PR is these guys are frustrated with women here because the women are bad. It's not that the guys can't hack it. It's not the guys don't have what it takes or can't evolve or learn that they're not willing to meet people halfway, that they can't find a satisfactory relationship. It's that the women are trash. That's why they have to flee to another country. Listen, the gentleman in the TikTok video that we showed earlier. So yesterday, right, I dropped a video, you know, about a, a university professor telling his male students, get out of California, get out of the Bay Area to meet women that are up your speed. And when he said that, there was a up, major uproar about that. So when a young man sees a, a, a man expressing his opinion, right, and seeing women of, of, in, in his own country coming after men, right, that express their opinion, seeing an American woman hound that professor, there's just no point dating in the West or in America anymore, right? The average woman in America is of low quality when it comes to femininity, when it comes to cooking, looking after kids, prioritizing family. For her, it's all about the bag, 
being independent, being a boss babe, making stupid TikToks. Let's keep it a stack. Yeah. It's, it's, it's about me, 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 me culture yeah. in America. Clout chasing. We, 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 we want to have families. We, we want to build families. And we can't do that with American UK chicks. And no. they got to accept that. Ain't that right, Phil? No, it's not even something we should even attempt. There is no, no, no opportunity. For the most part, guy, particularly in the liberal cities, you're, you're talking about a zero-sum game. There is no benefit to you whatsoever, only risk. I do not see why anyone would rationally even attempt to have a cup of coffee with most of these people, the most of these women. And the guys are thinking, oh, yeah, maybe the next one, maybe the next one. No, no. The next one will do more damage to you, have more, make you even more disappointed. The only way to win is to not engage, go abroad, where you can do much better. You have women, you have women abroad who make you regret being single. In the West, for the most part, you only have women who make you very happy to be single. Like you're like, yes, this is the perfect idea. When I was in Brazil, I saw women how they were treating their families. I sat back and I was like, I me being single is a bad idea. This this is not the way it should be. I should be I someone needs to be with me. When do you think that in the West? You ever see a woman, you think, oh yeah, I need this is the kind of woman or this is the kind of archetype of woman that I need around me. Never. Never. It's more like how do you flee in terror from one of these? So guys, get your passport. Go. There's no there's no there's really no viable options. Not in the numbers that would be there in order to make, you know, decent, healthy dating and relationships possible. So go abroad, you'll have a better opportunity. Facts. Absolute facts. Let's carry on here. He's a dirty boy. Okay. I'm <laughs> just kidding. It probably made his Listen, day if he sees you saying that. But no, I, I hear what you're saying, by the way. Like, I have no problem with men doing this if they feel that this is what they need to do to find someone. Listen, that's not just men, me, by the way. Women don't go abroad to meet people. I mean, maybe they do. I, I'm unfamiliar with that practice. I, isn't like eat, pray, love? Isn't love one of the three? Like, I think that's what people do. They I don't think there's a abroad. subculture of women in America who are like, men in the U.S. suck, and no, no, so no, no, I'm going to go to Thailand to find my yes, husband. Yes, I'm not saying the sub. See, wrong, wrong, wrong. There's a passport cis movement, and there's women that are leaving the West to go to Korea to find their Korean boyfriends or husbands, and it ain't going too well for them over there, right? Again, women refuse to make other women accountable. That's also a main problem here as to why men are getting their passports, right? Women at the Africa control in the West, we know for a fact that for many years, women in the West have been going to Jamaica, Bahamas, right? Barbados, you know, uh, Cuba, okay? Not Cuba, but other Caribbean countries, right? To get their backs blown out by Jamal, the six foot five dreaded roster dude. Let's keep her stack for you. Mm -hmm. Break it down for but, us, bro. Yes, they go abroad, but they can't get a ring. That's the whole thing. We, I, I know that what being abroad for a long time, and and what the guy just said, uh, eat, love, pray, right? That well, in that movie, the woman did meet um, a Brazilian man with a visectomy, so she enjoyed herself. I think it was like twelve years, and then he dumped her for another woman, and so she was old at that point and really couldn't make any kids, whereas. The, her husband, whom she left, she initiated the divorce. He went out, married another woman, got, had kids and a family. I mean, okay, so passport cis movement. I'm like, okay, go ahead. They're going to make a lot of foreign men happy. I, 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 I never try to discourage it. I'm like, the airport's right there. Go for it, honey. Because you're, I know you're not going to get my results. I'll make a family abroad. You, you just make a few guys happy. You get some... Uh, good bar stories that's about it get your end count up you know go for it girls facts to wrap, to wrap up this clip you know y'all not gonna stop us from being passport bros doesn't matter how much you shame us how much you criticize us we're gonna keep traveling there'll be more men getting their passports more men getting into it to leave you western woman alone it's over y'all can't stop this movement you caused it and therefore you're gonna deal with it mm -hmm.
Okay, so let, let's react to the next clip, bro. Okay, so uh, present uh, video file. Okay, let's react to. Okay, oh, this, this is going to be interesting for you. Okay, let's mm -hmm. react to this one over here. Okay. Um, <laughs> why you should try dating an older woman is i don't waste time and if i want you it's on reason number 59 for why you should try dating an older woman is i'm not going to make you do all the work in the bedroom reason number 64 for why you should try dating an older woman is i'll tell you exactly what i like in bed i won't leave it up to you to figure it out i got you reason number 67 for why you should try dating an older woman is i'll take you out to dinner and hope that you'll put out at the end Reason number 68 for why you should try dating an older woman is I won't ghost you. I'll tell you exactly why I don't want a second date. Wow. So we're at a point where more men are getting their passports, right? And older women are doing what they can, right? To try and salvage something. To try and, you know, try and tell men, don't get your passports. How about you do it with us instead? Uh, we could be an option for young men before you travel. Don't get your passport. They us or oh, uh, uh, older woman. How about no? How about a big fat N O in capital letters? No. Okay. Men under no circumstance should be dating women older than them. Okay. If a man is fifty, I want to see a fifty-year-old man with a twenty-five-year-old chick. Twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-one, twenty. If a man's thirty, I want to see with a twenty-two-year-old chick. Okay. We're not out here. Right, as men that have that have built ourselves up, okay, to be dating older women. Hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. Break it down for us, Phil. Um well, I mean, everything she's describing about older women, I can find that in a 22-year-old in Brazil. So why would I consider her? It just doesn't make sense. And this kind of woman has definitely been ran through like several times. So why would I even consider? Um, and you know, she's trying to advertise herself. She's deaf. That, that tells me she's in a red ocean. She doesn't have many options and she's having to do quite a lot to retain a man. Um, I can, <laughs> I can be with this. Like, I can be with a 22 year old in Brazil who, will treat me amazingly. Um, and I'm not going to be thankful to be with this woman, period. The, even this type of woman. But how many older women are trying to get us? I get it all the time. Hmm. Like I just, I got, I mean, in the last week I've gotten like three or four on Facebook alone. Them just reaching out, you know, women in their forties talking about how good they are. And they, they like to have a successful black man as their boyfriend. I'm like, go for it. <laughs> it could be me. <laughs> you can forget that. <laughs> it's just, it could happen. <laughs> I mean, you know, those eggs are so gone, man. It's not. Sorry, man. The the government has determined that that is no longer safe for consumption, right? <laughs> like you just, I, I want, I want a woman who has fresh eggs. Okay, that that ain't you. So, uh, uh, guys, don't even consider this. And, and when, also, when you go abroad, yeah, like IP is saying, don't go for older women abroad either. I see black guys doing that all the time. Like, what's your problem, bro? Um, <laughs> if you're like, I'm 50 years old, I can easily date a woman who's 25, 26 in Brazil. I could date a 22 year old in Brazil. It's not hard to do. And we're talking about a college educated, like a really amazing woman. I can do that. You do the same thing in Colombia. Um, why would you even consider someone in, in her thirties? I don't get it. Um, you can go for quite an amazing woman. So, um, there you go. My little point. She should, she should have gotten a guy 15 years ago. This woman on the screen, <laughs> she could have gotten a guy 15 years ago. Yeah. You would have been really happy with her, but no, her Facts. time is gone. We, uh, we can get all she's offering in a front chick that's 22, 23 abroad. So why why we got to settle with a with an older Western chick? Yeah, you know, start thinking critically here, right, and start thinking about who you are as a man 
and the options you have. When you get those IT certs, when you get that skill set, right? When you become more confident, you get, you get your passport, you get a woman like this, but a lot younger, okay? And a lot more uh, youthful, okay? Get your passport, man, without a single doubt. Yeah. I mean, okay, so I, I get women like that all the time bouncing out. They're like, "Oh yeah, I'm, I'm done having children. I have time for you." I'm like, "Really?" So you're basically saying I, I'm successful enough to be with a woman who doesn't want to pro procreate with me? Really? I mean, I, do you understand what you're saying? Do you know how much money I've got and how successful I am? I didn't work all those years to to be with a dead egg. Sorry, it ain't gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're you're done. Go go to the graveyard and find someone. There's plenty of skeletons there like you. <laughs> facts, absolute facts. All right, so uh next kick to reactive feel, okay, yeah. is another Western chick. Let's see what she's saying. No kids, single. In my Chinese culture, I would be called a shengnu or leftover. But could you please explain to me why? I look better now than when I was in my 20s. My body is more toned, my skin is clearer, and my style is more refined. I have the freedom to do whatever I want to do and be whoever I want to be. The world is not my oyster. The world is my ocean. And you're telling me I'm a leftover? <laughs> I'm in my main course era. Oh man, it's a shame to see a Blasian chick, right, get corrupted by Western culture, talking about she's in this era, in her 30s, blah, blah, blah. Listen, you're 30 now, you've been replaced by a 21 year old chick. Every day, a woman turns 20, 19, 22, 24, and they've replaced you, right? And then you're coping. This is a massive cope, you know? Chinese culture don't play with that. Once you reach a certain age, right? Nah, you know, a, a high value Chinese man can get him a 22 year old dime Chinese chick, okay? And she's a blazing and she ain't bad looking too, but yeah, you know, yeah. break it down for us, Phil. What, what, what's your thoughts here? You get a lot of sisters thinking this way globally if, if, if they're half or not, and particularly in their 30s, this is how they're thinking. And I just sit back and my inner Kevin Samuels come out and say, like, no, man, this isn't going to happen. You're in the epiphany phase, um, and you don't think you are. That's how the market's going to treat you. Um, the kind of guy that she wants is not going to be dating her. She's going to have to make major compromises, particularly in, in terms of age. So she's probably going to have to be dating um, a less successful younger guy in order to get any kind of recognition. Um, men who are successful are not going to even look at her. And she's, when she looks like she's, I mean, at least 15 years younger than me, if not nearly 20 years younger than me, I, I would say, no, man, you're too old. Think can happen. Damn. I, you're I, 50, I got man, options. So yeah. She's old, but she, she's fair. She's let's say she's fair, fair one. She, you're 50 feel. She's too old for you. Damn. Yeah. There's no way. <laughs> cool. No way. No. Damn. Even if she's fit, it doesn't matter, guys. And I'm looking at the, at, at, at the at, at the chat. When you are a successful man, you can just stay in the 20s. You don't have to consider women in the 30s. You know their biological uh, clock is ticking. You just don't have to go with women in their 30s. So what you do is you sit back and say, hey, look, there are guys who are making like fifty or $60,000 a year. They can go out with the women in their 30s, especially the baby mamas. They can have them. You make six figures. You're doing Python. You're doing cloud. You're doing something successful. They don't have to go out with this. This isn't an option. No. This is somebody you walk by. You don't recognize that she exists. That's how I would treat her. I'd be like, yep, you're in your 30s. Okay. Just keep on walking by. You're you're another <laughs> ran through chick. You're you're probably gonna die with cats. The possibility of you getting married is very low. You're just gonna ride the CC forever. I have no time for you, and I've no, I I'm not even gonna watch you. You have like zero value for me. Bye. Let's keep on going. 
And then she's going to, you know, she's going to yell, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, I don't even care. You're not in your 20s. Bye. Damn. That's facts, man. That's facts. High value brothers in IT right now. Experience gains IT, passport bros, right? Should be dealing with youthful women. 21, 20, 24, 23. We can get that easily abroad. Cool. Much a lot more easier abroad. So do mm. it. In, in fact, younger men and older women are meant to be together. Yep. It's been like that from the very beginning of time, and it will always be like that. And there's so there, go on, bro. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna say, like when she gets into her 40s, she's gonna be even more like this, and she'll still be single. They still they, they it is even more, it goes even crazier. So, guys, no man. No, and guy, guy, somebody talking about like like them in their fifties. Yo, bro, dude, stop the skeletons, stop it. Like, it, it, you have much better options abroad. You're going for spoiled milk. You're you're basically going. You might as well go to a a, a a cemetery and go dig up some cadavers. That's about what you're going for. You can do so much more, particularly you as a black man. Stop going for the low hanging fruit, or actually the dead fruit. Go for a high quality woman. That's what you can go for. That's what the market determines you can go for. Stop doing this low quality crap. You can do better. Do it. Facts. Absolute facts. Absolute facts. All right. So um, let's react to the next clip. Okay. Uh, remove from studio. All right. So this one here, right? Present, um, you know, uh, let's go uh video file so something's happening in turkey field and it's, it's a phenomenon at the moment now, let me bring it up real quick hold on uh this one over here okay where are you from i'm from turkey turkey you like Turkish boys or African boys? African boys. Oh, you find me attractive? Say it again. You're the cutest African boy ever. You want my number or not? You already have it anyway. I already have it. Sure. Wow. So over the past couple of days, social media has been lit. Uh, Passport bros are essentially taking over Turkey. A lot of Turkish women are giving a lot of play to the brothers. A lot of brothers are, you know, dating Turkish women, marrying Turkish women, dating, you know, falling in love with Turkish women. Um, Incredible. Incredible. I want the passport bro movement to be in every country. I want to see brothers in in Turkey. I want to see brothers in Japan. I want to see brothers in Iran. I want to see brothers in Saudi Arabia. I want to see brothers in in, in Antarctica, in Greenland, <laughs> everywhere. Feel okay. This is incredible. Feel and looking at the women in this video right now, they look good, bro. The women look good. So again, good-looking Turkish chicks. The Turkish women love the brothers. The brothers love them. Incredible, right, Theo? Break it down for us, but uh, uh, what's your thoughts here? I've heard good points about Turkey, and I was there in 93. I was treated very well. I I didn't have any problems. So I just want to say, like, it, it would be a, a recommendation for at least um, the main cities, not for the countrysides, but for the cities, yes. Um, 
you do have a, a better mix of conservative yet kind of open. I don't know if that makes sense, but it's kind of like Ukraine. So Ukrainian women tend to be conservative, but they don't care if you're a different skin color. Uh, Turks tend to be somewhat the same way. Um, if you want curvy, they've got them. A lot of them. So you can get quite an opportunity. Um, the Turks are actually originally from the Turkmenistan area, and they got curves too. So if you want to get, be in that area as well, uh, the girl I almost dated in Russia, she was half Turkish. She was half Turkish, half Kazakh. And um, man, that woman whew, definitely had curves. <laughs> she had it. She, they were rocking those things, man. Those wow. Um, yeah, I should have I should have got out with her. Anyway, um guys, it's it definitely a, it's a choice. I would say it's something that you should actually consider. Um I've again I've I've heard a lot of happy men in Turkey. Brother, oh uh when it comes obviously you were in Turkey 93. When it came to the women, brother, personality wise, brother, how were they? Were they sweet women? Were they great women to be mm. around with? They didn't have you know, yeah. the feminine, submissive, but I'm looking for, we're looking for submissive feminine women that are on our plan. Did you feel that energy from Turkish chicks? I'll break it down for yeah. us you. Yeah, yeah, I did. I, I felt the energy. Yeah, they they definitely, there's definitely a good connection with them, a good vibe. Um, They're, they're, they're nice. Um, Yeah. I mean, if I were Turkey for a year, you know, I'd probably have a Turkish wife right now with probably five kids. Whoa. There's no way I would have stopped with her. Yeah. Well, they're that good. Yeah, I, I'd definitely say that. Um, it, But I would say the, the religious aspect, I, I wouldn't have really gone for it at that time because I was so incredibly strong Christian at that point. So there's no way that would have happened. But, I mean, I looked at it and I was like, yeah, these women are treating me the way that I wish Christian girls would treat me. Wow. So, Baba, obviously... Um uh exotic looking right so you were there mm. um obviously with turkey right it's, it's very very obviously weird country sense of that you know you meet women with blonde hair green eyes sometimes black hair blue eyes black hair hazel eyes or just like a normal stereotypical white chick did you see that as well brother you got that exotic looking and it's i was just looking at just a strong black hair the curve and a little jiggle to it that's all i needed like I wasn't, I wasn't going that much further than that. <laughs> That's it. I was seeing some jiggle. I was like, oh, oh yeah. So <laughs> said, every Turkish woman I saw was like that. I mean, there's, there's others. She doesn't have that much jiggle to her, but I, uh, there's uh, others that, oh yeah, they got, hmm, got a little wave going through that. So uh, it's nice. Uh, I'm just saying, hmm, yeah. Uh, the other ones like that or Armenian. Um, Oh, it's Armenian and uh, oh, I forgot the other country. I forgot. What it was. No, it's not not there. It's Armenia and um, the one right next to Armenia. It's there. They ah. definitely got curves. Mm. Uh, they, uh, uh, Azerbaijan, yeah, Azerbaijan. They they definitely got curves. They they got a jiggle to it. So if you want to get a nice, healthy little float, no cellulite. Mm, yeah, yeah, I can keep you young for a really long time. Wow, obviously, brother, right? Can we, brother? This might be a crazy statement for you, right? Okay, can we get a million black men passport bros over to Turkey to have up one million Turkish chicks, brother? Chicks, is that possible? Well, you, to better, that possible you better, you better convert your language, convert your religion, because that's I don't <laughs> think that's going to happen. Because if if they see that, it's going to be another crusade. So they're gonna get some. They're gonna get somebody with some swords out and take care of that real quick. They're gonna have that. Nah, nah. But you can get a, a certain number of them. I think you can get like a good five thousand uh, in Istanbul. Uh, in what I forgot. The, always gets me. Uh, Cons, uh, Istanbul. You can get a good five thousand into that city and have, have the guys dating. Again, most black men are rather fit. So you get you get your get your look on you know get your suit on like that make sure make sure your look is on point and you're just you know strict with her and you know not playing around 
yeah, you can get women to fall with this. Yeah, you can get a woman like this to fall for you, and you know, within a month. And then, of course, you have plenty of Ukrainians there as well with options. Most of the Ukrainians I saw there also had curves. So, yeah, it's a good. If you guys want that curvy woman, I would say Turkey is one of the good choices for you to go to. Wow, incredible. Uh, and so, Phil, you know, you're a black man, Phil, okay? When you were there, would you say the woman in Turkey were checking for brothers, giving you love, giving other brothers yeah. love, checking you yeah. out, giving you signals? Yeah. Were they? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were they were kind of level of um, Czech. Czech. Czech women were the same way. But I was more on the Czech women. But with, with Turk, again, it was the religious aspect. That's why it was having more, more difficulty. If I would have just removed the religious aspect, like kind of like I am right now, and I would have just been like, okay, how are you going to treat me? Are you just going to treat me well? Okay, are you just on a day-to-day -day basis? Are you going to treat me well? Um, do you have any problems having kids with me? If we talk, and that's it. That's all it was as a communication. Oh, yeah, done. Done deal. Because they're really desirable. They're really fun. I had I had a really great time. I would say um, other places to find Turkish women, who of course, would be Germany. Mm, Plenty yeah. of them there. Checking um, heavy. <laughs> they're they're checking heavy. Um, of course, St. Petersburg. I met a mix of Turkish women there. Uh, there's there's got to be a lot more now. So that, that would definitely get um, that definitely be some options. Um, in terms of guys being jealous of black guys, why would you even care? Just be like, okay, go find your own. I got yours. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't even care if they're jealous. I don't, I don't. I do not. I'm like, I'm doing it. I've, I've got what I've got. Okay. There's other women in there in the sea. I'm sure you, you got other skills and capability. You can go find yours, but I got, I got mine. So uh, I'm never worried about it. Get your passport, brothers. Get your passport. They're checking for brothers, checking for us. Get your passport, man. Get into IT2. Yeah. Look at IT consultations with me. And of course, man, build a new build a, build a new life for yourselves abroad. Awesome. Awesome. Yep. So let's react to another interesting clip, okay? So you, you're going to love this one, Phil. You're, 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 you're going to love this one big time, bro. Uh, let's go. <laughs> Spending a penny. As soon as a young man arrives here, the girls will approach him and offer themselves. Since the local girls are in their youth and desire to have their own love, they surround any man they see trying to sell themselves. This is the largest bride market in Laos, where the girls don't ask for dowries, houses, or cars. They even offer themselves for free just to get married. There are so many girls here, but hardly anyone is interested. To expedite their marriages, local villagers host grand bride markets every two days. These girls meticulously dress up to find their life partners as soon as possible. In just two years, they've captured the attention of boys from neighboring villages who forcefully want to take them home. Most of these men already have families, and even though the girls are sweet and beautiful, there aren't enough takers. Many men travel from afar hoping to find a wife, but there are still many attractive and virtuous girls who can't get married. If a man likes a girl, he can take her home, and the girl will wholeheartedly follow her husband. The men make most decisions at home, and the women handle household chores during the day and learn together with their husbands at night. The girl in front of you is already 23 years old and hasn't found a match yet. She frequents the market every day, but there are numerous fair and beautiful girls like her, making competition fierce. Even if a girl offers two houses as a dowry, it's difficult to find a husband. The men here can inherit all of the women's family property and the girls bear the entire cost of the wedding. Wow. That sounds like paradise to passport bros. An abundance of women, right? Women that really want men. Hardly any feminist attitudes over there, right? This this, this might be a spot, a, a place called Laos. And I, I, I did a live stream on Laos around three weeks ago. Go and check it out, you know, uh, you know uh, that I did on the channel. It's a cheap country, okay? Apparently the people there are nice. And the women are checking for brothers too. So what can go wrong here, Phil? Brother, can we get brothers over to Laos to wife up these chicks? We, we can't we can't have them alone and single, brother. 23 years old? I got a brother in the UK that would happily marry her, bro. Break it down for us, bro. Damn. Um, I, I when I was in Thailand, I saw this kind of stuff sometimes. Um 
I I tend to stay away from it. Hmm? Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. Hmm? Yeah, I, I don't engage in this one. Um what this kind yeah, this kind of stuff it is little borderline for me. And I'm just like, uh nah, man, let the Chinese deal with that. Like let the Chinese men come in. They're, they got a lot of Chinese men who don't who can't get wives. They I think they would do much better in this environment. Um, and for black men, I don't think black men should be engaged in this kind of market. Um, they have much better options in other m- markets. Um, the only kind of black man I would say who would who could cons- who could think about this is a guy who's actually in this country. Who's who's there locally? He's actually speaking the language. He's integrated into the culture, and he has something like he has something about it. Like he's he's there. That kind of guy can you know he can get a matchmaker and do something. Outside of that, now nah, I would say um, black men. You do not. You can. There's there's other places which are more appropriate for you. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. hold on here, feel right. So, brother, th- th- these are Asian women, and many brothers mm-hmm. are into Asian women. So, you're mm-hmm. telling me that we can't go to Laos, get a, get a wife from here or girlfriend, and take mm-hmm. over to Japan? Take it Not, to Japan. What? Even the Japanese would be looking at this a little suspiciously because you can get Japanese women so easily. So, why are you going to Laos? Okay, they would be looking okay. at it like forget about, this would be something Japan, that a, like a Japanese Maybe. guy should be marrying this kind of guy, this kind of woman. That would make sense. See, but you telling us not to check, not not to date Laos chicks, brother. What are you on about, yeah. Theo, bro? Not this, not this kind of situation, man. I wouldn't know. No, no. So, so, it, so you mentioned Ch- a, a leader for Chinese men. Why, why, why are yeah. we worrying about and caring about Chinese uh, men, brother? We need to, you know, worry about the brothers, right? Passport bros, right, brother? Th- these are women a... here. They, they, oh, sorry, Phil. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's an abundance of women here. There's a crazy mm-hmm. ratio here, for your mm-hmm. right, in that country. Okay. So, brother, we could, and these women look pleasant, feminine, submissive, mm-hmm. cooperative, yep. wifey, yep. homemakers. Yep. That's, that's what we yep. want as brothers, right? So, why can't we uh, marry these chicks? We, you can get those kind of chicks in Thailand, Philippines, Cambodia, Vietnam, Korea, and Japan. If you're uh, also Indonesia, those, those countries are, are, are good. Um, engaging in a bride market is not something where we want to go. It's not from a tactical point of view. It just wouldn't be good. Um, so yeah, it, we can do, I would just say there's better options and more readily available situations for us particularly, and also better countries than this kind of situation. Um, go, go, go to Japan or go to, go to, go to Thailand, go to Philippines. That, that, it, it's more appropriate. Um, let these kind of women, let them be with Chinese men. Let them be with Korean or, or, or Japanese men. They go crazy over here. They, they'd be totally happy. Let them have that. That, you know, we don't, we, we don't need to be everywhere. <laughs> let us, Damn. Let's, feel, let's, yeah. Feel, feel, hold on. But feel right now, I'm trying to, I'm trying to mobilize a million black men to go over to Laos to wife up a million Laos chicks, brother. We wait on about. I'm trying to. I'm trying to get that happening right now, brother. A million black men over to Laos to wipe up a million Laos women, brother. You tell us not to send a million over over there, bro. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I would. I would not be on that airplane flight. In fact, uh, <laughs> if, if that if that kind of went down, I, I'd be like, oh, okay. Hmm. Can I? Maybe I could say I'm like half Japanese, half black. And I'm more Japanese side, and I could just deny that I'm a Western man. Like I, I wouldn't want to be seen in that scene. I, I'm serious. I, that's just not good for me. Nah, man. Nah. But, mm, it's, it's not. Okay. It's not good. That, that's Phil's opinion. In my opinion, I have no problems with uh, bad markets. I think possible people should explore it and see if it works for them. Maybe you can get a wife there. Phil disagrees. Uh, Phil, with me, I disagree with Phil. Is what it is. Yeah, do what you want. What you want to do. Okay. So now, uh, let's react to the next clip. But hopefully, feel this 
clip over here is, is up your speed, brother. Because I know you, you love your Latinas feel. I'm hoping this might be up your speed feel. If it isn't feel, stuff is going on feel. I think Keisha might be friending you in the background, brother. If that's the case, let me know, Phil. I can call the cops to get out of your house, brother, okay? So, <laughs> now... I was now, looking, is there a Keisha at my house? I was looking, <laughs> is she in the hallway? Oh, no, she is, okay. All right, so let's fast this one over here. Still having a man shortage. And thank you to all the men that reached out and are currently on their way to Belize. But what we need is at least a thousand men to come to Belize to help with this man shortage. Right now, the ratio is 12 women to one man. With at least 1,000 men, we can have two women to one man. But if 2,000 men can visit Belize, you know, come hang out with the girls, get married, live a happy life, you know. That would be great because that will prevent a woman stealing another woman's man. Guys, we're having a man shortage here in Belize. Help out. Come, Belize is very beautiful. We have beautiful women. The environment is very tropical, nice, no coal, no lot of heat, nothing like that, guys. Stay tuned for more information. Fio, you go there first, Fio. Break it down first. What's your thoughts on that? Um, no to the Caribbean. So any yeah, it's too close to the Western world. Um, if she's ha if they're having a problem with men, I'm sure they can figure it out. Whoa, um, whoa hold on there, Fio, bro. Hold on, yeah. Bro. Brother, so we had we had, I had a stream on Belize, brother, a couple months ago. The brother gave us some intel. The woman there, our wifey feel, right? And they're good looking woman. Checking for brothers too. The woman here in this kid brother says that there's a lot of women there compared to men feel. And she, they need more men over there feel to wife up Belize chicks. As passport bros, we want to be all around the world, bro. And Belize women, brother, okay, they're an option for brothers. And I think it's incredible that in, in, in today's day and age, Okay, there's a there's a, a high ratio of women to men. We gotta take advantage of it, Theo. This, this is good news, bro. Right? This that is great ratio, news. that ratio is too high. That's war ratio. So after World War II, the ratio of men to women in Russia and Ukraine was six men, six women for every man. So she's describing a situation where I don't want to be. This is not good. Uh, I would ask, why is there such a man shortage? What's going on? Why do I want to be in that kind of area? Do what? Do you have something going around eating men or something? I, I mean, I don't mind a certain ratio that's in my favor, but that's too high. So I would say, no, man. Uh, it looks like it, it looks like dangerous to me. I'm going to go someplace else. Um, now. I'm I'm sure other guys would say, "Hey, I'm going to go out there and, and just procreate." I mean, I I I get it. You know, that's that's what happens a lot of times. People go on the airplanes. You know, they they do their thing. They help the population restabilize over time. Um, if guys want to engage in that, okay, um, but it's not something that I, I'm gonna I would do. I mean, no, nah, something's wrong. So. I don't mind a certain ratio, but that's that ratio. Is, we're just talking too high. So, uh, how about we break down Belize women? I, I've met Belize women in the UK, and mm -hmm. we did a stream a couple months ago about Belize women. I think these women are pleasant women, bro. They're good looking. They've got a great personality. They're pair wifey. Um, and I believe for me is is a hidden gem. Is a hidden spot. From what I'm seeing, content wise, from what I'm, from what I'm seeing, woman wise, Belize is slept on heavily, bro. Right, mm -hmm. and and we, we got to stop sleeping on Belize, right? I'm, I'm hearing some good things about Belize, and, and this is an, an advantage for passport bros to take advantage of, bro, big time, bro, mm -hmm. in Belize. Because, brother, guess mm -hmm. what, right? There, there'll be certain segments of brothers that want Latina woman or Asian woman, right, or white woman or black woman. Cool, right? Some brothers want them an Afro-Latina, and Afro-Latinas, mm -hmm. brother, are in abundance in Belize. It's an option for brothers if I single down. Yeah, but why is the ratio to that degree? 
That's what I'm looking at. I'm going to ask that. I mean, compared to Turkey, you're not having that kind of issue with Turkey, right? So, I mean, I I, I don't mind taking a Turkish woman, but in that area, they're not having a, a demographic problem. She's describing a demographic problem, which is just too much. I don't. So, I mean, sure, there are going to be guys in there who are going to take advantage of it. I mean, go for it. But, nah, man. I wouldn't be seen there. I'd just be like, no, that's that's not for me. I go to Brazil, go to Colombia, Guyana, yeah, I go someplace else. Okay, that's Phil's opinion there. I do feel like uh, Belize should be explored by passport bros, but again, we we agree to disagree there. Okay, it might be All a right. great country for you, honestly. I mean, considering what you what you want, yeah, this this might this might do it. Uh, you might find the perfect one there, especially you get a remote job. It looks like their infrastructure, internet infrastructure is good. So yeah, for you that 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 might do it. That might be great. Um, yeah, I just well no, this doesn't this this a warning sign comes on in my head on this kind of stuff. When if a woman's talking this way, I'm like, ah, oh, this is an issue. I, I don't want to be there. Okay. Okay, thanks for that breakdown there. Right, so now let's react to the next one, okay? So let's react to, let's see what I've got here. Let's react to this one over here, if you okay. Um, this one over here. Question for the passport bros. Are you guys just full on no women from the West at all anymore ever? Or are you open to a certain type of unicorn woman of the West that you believe doesn't exist, but she does. And what would those qualities be? Comment below, the ladies wanna know, because there are a lot of us women out there who are in good shape, we're older, we cook, we can maintain a home, we could um, be a total partner in a team. We are not going to extort any money from you. We just want partnership, companionship, relationship, friendship, respect, mutual, good physical life. Mm -hmm. And so, I don't know, I think a lot of people are going the passport route when love can be right in their backyard. Wow. Wow. <laughs> these these women, they, they've lost. We, we we have won passports we have won okay now these women want to now they want to switch up now they want to switch up now listen there may be unicorns here in the west not all of us are bad you know stay here for a bit you know you can find older women that can cook older women that are feminine you know uh, 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 older women that do that etc etc where was that energy before the passport bros movement took off where was this energy before the passport bros movement went mainstream? Now they 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 um they're panicking because all their options are leaving. The nerdy dude that they used to they used to fall back on, the nerdy simp is now going abroad to find a, a dime young chick. The guy that earned six figures from IT that y'all called nerds that y'all disrespected. Because he wasn't a thug, he wasn't a pookie, he wasn't a ray ray, he's going abroad, and now you have no options. You have no options. We won as passport bros. Unicorn, mm -hmm. what are you talking about? Yeah, y'all all the same. If you're born in America, if you're born in the UK, you are all the same to me. Keep away from me. Break it down for us, Phil. Well, see, this is like Belize in my point of view, but it's just opposite. So she's talking about unicorns. That means that's a very small per percentage of the population, right? So then I mm -hmm. would also say, if there's that, why are there so little? I don't want to be in a market where that kind of demographic exists either. That doesn't make sense. So again, compared to Turkey, Turkey has a great number of good women that's good. They have a great number of women and they have a great number of good women and they also have men. It's a functional, that's something's good happening there. Okay, I can date there. But in this kind of situation, this kind of woman, older woman who's not going to reproduce would be of would 
was targeting a man like me to be there to wife her up in her later years and be there and have money for her and resources. And now that she's seeing that guys like me have options abroad, she starts promoting herself and saying, hey, look, I'm a unicorn, blah, 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 blah. Look, you have no eggs. You have no ability to make a family the way that I want. And you've done been ran through. And that was a part of your policy. That was your approach. You got ran through by the Tad and Tyrone when you were younger. You had baby stuff. You had all those kind of issues. Now you're looking for somebody who's successful, who has everything that you're wanting, but you don't want to procreate with him. But you want his resources to be given to you so you can have a retirement. And hopefully, maybe you have the option of saying that he was bad, blah, blah, all these kind of things, and then use the court system to get 50% of the good man's resources so you don't have to deal with the man later on in your you know, elder years at all. This kind of tactic is over because the passport bros have put their foot down and refused for it to continue. This is why she's on doing a TikTok or whatever media she's on trying to get attention in no way we're done. So I say to this kind of lady, you had your opportunity. You you're, it was obvious 20 years ago, you were hot guys were trying to do anything they could to procreate with you. Um, you had your opportunity. You screwed up. Now you have a future of cats, boxed wine and dying alone. Good luck. Facts brothers. Uh, as a possible movement gets bigger and bigger, right? Don't listen to what women in your community are telling you. Hey, don't leave. Not all of us are, are the same. Not all of us are bad, right? There's unicorns. I know we can be horrible. I know we can be terrible, but just don't leave. Spend a bit more time here. Go to here. Go to there. No, you need to leave ASAP. Get your passport. And never come back. Okay? It's over. It's over. We're not dating another Western chick again. No. You had your time and you you ruined it. Passports mm. up and only. Yeah, and she said, Are you not open to dating Western women? Duh. No, we're not considering you at all. Zero. We don't even we don't even want to look in your eyes. We don't want to acknowledge your existence. We're done with you. <laughs> Facts. Zero. Numero. Uh, uh, let, me, let me say it for y'all in Spanish. Numero uno. Zero. Okay? It's over. So, I'll tell you in Japanese how to say it. Say, say it. it. It's easy. Maru bakario. Maru. Maru. <laughs> so maru is circle. So maru bakari. It's only maru. Only circle. Only zeros. There you go. You know? There you go. Shout out to Mr. Stephen P for the support. Thank you, Stephen. Appreciate you, brother, for the support. Uh, we underestimate how much our our biases weigh us down and chaps our creative energy. Uh, Tron TV games, toxic relationships chaps your energy. You need free energy to take massive action. Vision plus massive action equals a new life. Packs, bro. Execution mm. consistency is a key to having a successful fruitful life when you start something you finish it and you do it always execute facts bro absolute facts is right, he, so in this your class? he is in my class he's a very smart he's in man, my bro. class dude he's smart he's gonna be a powerful passport bro i give him mm -hmm. yeah definitely well if he doesn't get everything done this year next year oh boy mm, yeah he's gonna be out he's gonna be making he'll be, money he'll be he'll be in germany again uh, having woman calling him a, a, having woman a woman call him a beautiful black man like he what like he did like he did last year. Ah, uh, uh, <laughs> I should learn some German, get my weight down perfectly, and go to Germany. Then yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'm still stuck on Ukraine. I don't know. Well, they they bomb my heart. What can I say? Shout out to Mister Volcanus for the super sticker support. Thank you, Volcanus, for the support. I appreciate you, bro. Thank you, man. All the support is greatly appreciated, man. It is 3 a.m. over here. I'm going to keep pushing for giving you brothers content. So let's fetch some new another clips one. Oh, wow. Shout out to Volcanus yeah. again for the support. Thank you, Volcanus. Respect to Theo, IP. Shout out Class 3 AWS. He's in your Class 3 or South brother. 
Salute. Yeah, good class. Keep five and brother, keep five. <coughs> right, so present a video of Bell. So let's react to, let me see what I have here. This one here. Let's go. Driving the human race towards extinction at the moment in the biggest case of fuck around and find out the world has ever seen by refusing to have kids because they don't like the way men treat women and they don't like the way that society treats mothers and so they're like you know what instead of having kids and continuing the human race let's just go extinct like let's just all go extinct and this isn't only happening in that having children takes a massive toll on our physical health and our mental health and that we're then expected to live our lives in servitude to these children to these future worker bees so that they can take care of the aging population and our entire lives will be changed by having a child but we're also constantly told that that's not that important but that's all we are but that's not important and so we're looking at the situation and we're like why would i do this i'd rather put a backpack on and go traveling i don't care if we go extinct like, wh like, why would, why would I do this? Where's the incentive? There isn't one. We're not even appreciated for doing it. Like, we're actually like brought down for doing it. Why would we do it? Why not instead just go out there and explore this world and live our lives? <laughs> and that's what more and more women are doing. They're making the decision to do that instead. So here's the thing, if you don't wanna go extinct, you better beg us to start having kids and you better make it worth our while. Wow. Like, that's the only solution here. That's the only way that we get out of this mess. Women need to be recognised for their importance, not just in terms of having children, but everything glorious that they bring to this world. <laughs> because we've been told for all this time that, like, it's not us, it's not you, you're not the important ones. Like you you guys aren't the key workers here. And now actually we're seeing that, that we are the key workers and actually we are vitally important for the continuation of the human race. And before anybody jumps up in here and is like, well then you guys are selfish. Why don't you just take one for the team and sacrifice your physical and mental health to have children? Like, what would they just do that? The, the human race depends on it. This isn't our fault. It's yours. It's society's fault. And society has been run by men for all these years. And you have left us feeling underappreciated and unvalued for everything that we have to offer. <laughs> including having children and raising them and raising the next generation and we just don't want to do it anymore <laughs> and we're not gonna <laughs> fuck around and find out there's a country in africa called Burkina Faso, where woman the average woman is having five to seven kids western women we don't need y'all we got africa we have uh, Southeast Asia, we got Latin America, and guess what? Those regions love having kids. So y'all can keep on this, you know, uh, you know, not having kids, holding it against men, but guess what? There's a square book, right, that for Americans, I think it's blue, and for the UK, I think it's also blue too. And it starts with P and it ends with T. And the whole world, and the whole world is passport. Huh. I take that square book. I take that square book and then I go on the internet and I search up flights to, huh, I want to go to, let's say, hmm, Costa Rica. Wow. Okay. I'm in Costa Rica or I'm in Panama and I see women all around the country with plenty of kids. We don't need Yao. We don't need Yao at all, Western woman. And you, you, Phil, you heard the English accent? This is the English woman, and I keep telling you, brothers, what's happening in America is also happening in England and the UK too. Ultra feminists who have no idea what they're talking about. Break it down for us, Phil. The only group that's really going ex extinct with these kinds of womanist, Marxist ideas be the group that live mainly in Europe. And they're the ones, again, historically, who have lived in Europe. They're the ones who are going to go extinct with this kind of thinking. And this kind of woman, when she's talking this way, makes Colombians look oh so good. Because a Colombian woman will gladly have a man's kid. And she'll work. And she'll be 
right on, you know, strong inside the society. And she'll make another kid and another kid and another kid. So it's not the, our concern isn't what this woman is talking about. Um, this woman needs to think about her own prosperity and if she's going to put the time and investment into continuing that. If she isn't, uh, we can find women who will put the time and effort into it and make a very strong family structure for us with, well, not only for us, but with us. So um, it's your choice, lady. You know, so most of us passport bros, we're starting someplace kind of next to you. <clears throat> if you, you know, don't be angry or don't be disappointed. If you see a lot of us get on the airplanes in Heathrow or JFK or O'Hare, we take a one-way ticket to Colombia, Guyana, maybe Belize, um, Brazil. We find Latinas there. And we make huge families, and then we come back. And we have these beautiful, huge families. We go on, you know, on vacation. We on holiday, and we we get to see you, the crazy woman with the cats. You know, that's that's what it's going to be. All right, so we have options. Do you, lady? We got big options, big options, <laughs> and you know, they don't know just how how much this passport bros movement is going to explode. They're gonna get left behind. They're gonna get, they're gonna get left behind, brother. She's a she's a white woman, right? And guess what, right? I'm seeing a lot of white men with Asian women. White men are leaving behind white women, but slowly, but it's happening because a lot of white women think like this. Mm -hmm. A lot of white women in the West actually think like her. And the white guy's thinking, "What? I'm gonna get me an Asian chick." That's why two weeks ago, all over the the the, the city center I was in, in on the weekend, I saw white men and Asian women. I saw more white men with Asian women, brother, than white men with white women. That's very telling, Phil. They know what's happening, Phil. The, she's, the white women are just, they, they don't want enough to do with white, men, with white women anymore, white men. Slowly, but it's happening, Phil. Damn. Yeah, it, it's it's unfortunate. So, I mean, you're saying that she's in the UK. I'm, I'm thinking, from, from my analysis, maybe I'm wrong. You have better eyes, of course, in the UK. She looks Irish, so she looks an Irish background. But you're saying she's in the UK, so I would I would assume that she's Irish in the UK. Um, if, if that's true, I mean Irish women are renowned for their fertility, and you know it's it's just unfortunate because you know she's a Western woman, so she's she'd be like kind of like the neighbor, and she's like the woman that I'm supposed to be dating, particularly when I'm younger. She's beautiful. She's a beautiful, educated person. And, you know, we're supposed to be putting children into her and making families with her. But when she talks this way, we can only look at her and say, what's your problem? Because we have to sacrifice also for families. We have to invest. There's a lot that we have to sacrifice and endure as husbands. And you're kind of not even looking at that. It's all about you. And you got those crazy eyes. And I... I got nothing to to deal with you on this on this part, lady. So it's like, okay, well, I'm sure there'll be someone who comes along. But if not, you know, box wine, cats, and dying alone is a good option. I'm not gonna wait. I'm not gonna have my options limited by your dogma and your ideology. I'm gonna go find someone who really wants to have kids with me. That's the way it's gonna be. So too bad for you. I'm sure you would have had some great story to tell, you know, our children that, that, you know, you decided not to have for whatever reason, go backpacking and tell some people in the, some pygmies in the middle of nowhere about your, all your stories from your family. Maybe they'll continue your stories because you're, you're the last one. You're going to die out. <laughs> Damn. Damn. That's for the breakdown for you. Um, base Muslim in the live stream chat, bro. Can you reach out to me, bro? I, I, I didn't see your requests on Facebook, brother. So once again, brother, uh, here's a link to my Facebook group. Uh, send me a friend request, Space Muslim. We got to get you on the channel for Algeria, bro. Algeria and um, what's it called? Algeria and Cape Verde live streams, brother. And uh, uh, was it was it Papua New Guinea or Guinea Guinea Bissau? Space Muslim, reach out to me, brother, ASAP, bro. I got a slot for you, brother. Please. 
we, we got to do Algeria ASAP, brother. Okay? Base Muslim, reach out to me, please, bro. What's going on? Please, brother, please. All right, so um, next one to react to. Okay, so let's react to this one here, Theo. Okay? Um, <laughs> this one over here. Let's see. specifically for me to afford me before we started dating because he knew the type of woman he was looking for was going to be expensive ladies if you are looking for a provider mindset man these are the things you need to look out for is he well aware that you are expensive that it takes a certain type of man to be able to afford you let's talk about it hello my name is carla and restoring healthy mindsets is my thing if there was one thing that i did right while i was dating was that this was always conveyed with the men that I was dating. They all knew that I was expensive. Listen, my husband loved my hair, my husband loved my makeup, my skin, my body, my nails, the way that I smell. Those were the things that my husband loved about me. And he knew that all those things come with a price. And that's exactly what he liked and that's exactly what he was looking for. So before my husband started dating any girl, he had money put away to afford the women that he was looking for. And here's the thing, you need to stop excusing men. They are a lot smarter than you think and they know the type of woman they're willing to invest in. I never once had to communicate my standards to someone. I never once had to tell them to pay for something. It was unknown. And I also never entertained men that couldn't afford me. And you shouldn't either. Not even if he's nice, if he treats you right. The matter of fact is, to survive, you need food and a roof over your head. If he can't at least afford that, you need to start dating better. I'm sorry, someone has to tell you. Step into an energy where you start attracting men with this mindset. It's time to put in the inner work. What should you go there first, Phil? What's your thoughts on that clip? This kind of woman is for the streets. Avoid at all costs. I, I some things I was I was agreeing with her when she was talking until she started talking about roof over her head. That was like, oh yeah, you're done. Um, a woman, especially you go abroad, if she cannot financially take care of herself, you should not be with her. Straight out. If she doesn't have a job, if she doesn't have some means to support herself, you do not date her. It's over. You don't even consider. Um, and also, I would say she needs to have some sort of relationship with her family that's strong. <clears throat> the way she's talking, this is a parasite. This is not somebody you want around. Now, I don't mind a woman who can take care of herself. And then she's like, yeah, no, I need a perm or I got to get my nails done or something like that. And I'll turn around to her and say, okay, cool. Well, if you're my fiance or if you're my wife, I've got no problem dealing with that, but I want something out of you. And so you have to be like actually contributing to the family. You have to be thinking about family planning. And if you're not thinking about that, there's no money for your hair and nails. I don't even care. You know, you go, go find somebody else who's going to just spend money on, on unlimited on you. So this woman so far, has no value to a relationship or to a man. She's bringing nothing to the table except liabilities and bills. Avoid at all costs. What, what about Theo, right? You know, uh, what if she's a stay-at-home mom, right? And she has no job, right? Looking after kids only, right? Uh, isn't that okay if she's a stay-at-home mom? She's not, no. she's not earning any money? Well, I thought you are okay with that, Theo. Stay -at -home moms. No, if, if she's a... No, 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 no hold on. If, when you date, she has to have money. She has to be working. If she's a single mother, no single, you don't date single mothers. So she has to be able to sustain herself. Now, in the process of sustaining herself, if she gets married to you and then she becomes a stay at home mom, okay, mm. that makes sense. But we're not talking about that. So if you're talking about her being a stay at home mom or she's a single mom when she meets you, you say, okay, well, you know, there's some locals here, I'm sure, who like to knock that. Go talk to the locals. There's plenty of them. I'm getting the woman without kids. Makes sense. Makes sense, brother. Okay. Okay. Mm. Yeah, brother, guys, you know, a don't, woman... don't go abroad oh. and date a single mother. Don't go abroad and date a single mother. I see so many black men doing that. Stop that. Please stop. Don't do not do it. No. Don't, don't, don't even, not even for fun on Tinder. Nope. Don't avoid at all costs. 
Damn. But you know, a lot of women are following her advice here. You know, they, they call her brother a trad. She's apparently, brother, she's a traditional woman uh, based on, you know, uh, her profile. She teaches women how to be more feminine, how to chase after men with means so it can be in, in their softness. So her, her advice is completely wrong? Yeah, entirely wrong. This is, again, I have means. I look at this kind of woman and say, you're a liability. You're, you have no value. No, stop it. You're not, you don't get that kind of cash flow until you provide value to me. And I don't see any value here. I see craziness. I see chaos. It's going around. She's not talking at all about how to love, cherish, respect, and bring value to a man. Zero. It's only one way. This is resource transfer to her hmm. because she knows her worth. No, no, honey. You don't have any worth. You're a street crawler. I got nothing to deal with you. I'm not going to deal with that. Yeah. No, nah, man. So you, there's a lot of women who think like this in the West. These women are going to have a rude awakening. When they hit 38, there's no man around. The eggs are dying and there's only boxed wine. And those cats are looking at them like vultures. <laughs> Thanks. Shout out to Theo for that breakdown. Awesome. Awesome. Right, so two more clips before we open up uh, the phone lines for uh, a few closing, a few calls, and we'll wrap it up. Shout let's say to, this. Uh, let's say this to you, IP. If you run into that kind of woman, you go to Belize instead. I don't blame you. <laughs> 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 then I'd be like, okay, that makes sense. All right, yeah, I, 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 I got you. Right, but that kind of woman, she looks like at least part Asian, and a Asian women don't act that way in Asia. That's why again, my, I'm like, what? Like, that's not, you should know better, lady. Don't act that way. But no, she's she's on the sprinkle, sprinkles crap, you know? So, you know. Oh, well. Shout out to Mr. Uh, John for the uh, support. Thank you, brother. Shout out to John again. He says here for the support, uh, that lady is the parasite run, guys. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. So let's react to the next one. Okay, video file. Then let's react to this one. Oh, feel, 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 you're going to love this feel, okay? And I know you're going to go ham, but it's, it is what it is, bro. <laughs> it's what it is. Vulnerable video because I just got done having a mental breakdown. But to all of my single gals out there who, like, live on their own and, like, get all of their stuff for themselves on their own, I am proud of you because I am one of those people and it is so hard sometimes like i feel so secure in being single and being on my own and i really enjoy it but the biggest the hardest factor of it is money <laughs> like it's so hard to feel so good being single but wish so badly that you just had like a partner to be able to rely on a little bit as well, like you guys could both rely on each other when it comes to finances and stuff like that, like rent, groceries, just anything. <laughs> like it's honestly so hard sometimes seeing my friends who are pretty much all in long-term relationships and living with their significant others. And meanwhile, I just made a spreadsheet of like the things that my money goes towards um because i'm looking for a new apartment and apartments are so expensive right now especially just to live alone like why do some places want you to like cough up over two thousand dollars for like a 300 square foot apartment that's like a studio apartment it's absolutely ridiculous like i should be able to support myself on my income and be able to afford my rent but i can't because all of you crappy landlords out there want to charge literally an arm and a leg for me to be able to have a roof over my head anyways the point of this video is just saying for all of you girlies out there taking care of yourselves i see you because it is not easy to do and i don't know any girls who are out there being able to do that and like being able to pay their rent and also occasionally do things that they enjoy or maybe treat themselves to something every now and then. How are you doing it? How? How are you doing it? Because I think I might be at my breaking point. 
Oh, over to you, Phil. You go there first. <laughs> this is the future <laughs> of many Western women. And when I see this, I just smile. That's it. Before I took the Crimson Capsule, I was a white knight. I was the, the knight. I was the guy who come in and try to bring order to this kind of chaos and try to be there for the woman and win everything and be the great man and solve the problems. I learned better because these kind of women taught me better. Now I do nothing and I just sit back and watch these women sink as they deserve. So, um, lady, uh, I'm sure you can go figure it out. Uh, whatever the rent is or anything. Amazing. I don't have any problems because I own my house. So, um, I, I, I'm sure you're strong and independent. I'm sure you can figure out everything on your own. If you make TikToks like this and you're crying, I just want to know your tears feel really good in my cappuccino machine. They make my latte taste much better. So keep on crying. I like them salty tears. Damn. Yo. <laughs> Yo, feel feel when you ham flipping heck, bro. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> come I mean, on lady harvest the tears come on more more i'm like good i'm gonna make a good latte now oh yeah <laughs> hey bruv i mean she she she, she she's a she's a she's a young woman okay mm -hmm. I, I know for a fact that she has options she's got a lot of options you know in america as a young woman um where's a man you know mm -hmm. where, where, where where's a dude so she she clearly wants to be in a, in a relationship right for financial support but not for love and that's a problem there if, if there ain't no love in a relationship the man gonna leave think, think about it mm -hmm. feel she's clearly making this video because she's single and she's missing that the uh, a man to help support her uh obviously they live together they share bills but she wants a guy for financial support not for love and that's where she's missing out there because a man can spot if a woman's if a woman is using him for money if he's thinking, ah, she, don't, she, doesn't, she doesn't love me, she don't cook for me, she don't give me the box, etc., etc., and she takes money from me, I'm leaving, bro. I'm leaving. You know? And, and, and that's, that's likely the case. That is likely the case, bro. You know? <laughs> How about she actually loves a man for who he is, not for his resources, and maybe that might work out for her. Because she, she's a young woman, and there's no reason why she should be single in the West. She has options. Mm -hmm. But don't just see men as some sort of resource machine. Actually love them and maybe, you know, things could be better. You know? In a right field. They're incapable of doing that until the eggs are dead. They it's that it's only about man's resources. They're utterly incapable of love, as far as I'm concerned. Zero. Zero cap capability. So I don't even I don't even pay it mind. Uh, other women can in other countries, like you know, South America, Asia, you know, they can do that. But these kind of types, no. This is another reason why I love sitting back and just watching the tears. You know, they're very, they're steamy, they're tasty, you know, they, they go into the coffee machine, get a good collection, you know, make froth my, my milk, put on, make a nice little la latte or a cappuccino. Because um, these kind of women just keep on going like this all the time. And I'm like, you thought of me as only as being an asset. And my brothers, you thought of them in the same way. They were only sources of money and ATM and energy to finance and promote you, your narcissistic vision of yourself. And now we've, we've woken up and actually seen what's going on. We're not supporting you. We're not giving you any of our resources. We're not giving you any of our time. So now you're going on to play uh, online, crying and things like this. As far as I'm concerned, this is our victory lap. So I love it. I love watching women suffer like this online. It, it, again, it just gives me the happiest. I, again, when their tears come, I just got a special bottle, put into my coffee machine, make that frother. It's very tasty lattes. Put some pumpkin spice into the, uh, into the latte. Have some pumpkin spice latte, you know, um, flavored by Becky Tears, by single lady feminist Becky Tears, who's crying because she can't get her life together. 
I'm like, hey, you know, this is the boat you what you wanted. Go for it. You're strong and independent. I'm sure you can deal with that. Not only that, lady, I was gonna make sure I understand. I don't think a man should come in and try to help you. I don't think a man should do anything for you. I think a man should sit back and just watch. At most, no intervention at all, no engagement, nothing. Becky, Liz got a woman. You have shown us that you could do it all by yourself. So go ahead. Give us a good display of your crying online. Show us your management skills with your pain and suffering. I got some popcorn and lattes. You're making a great show. Don't need we don't need cable. We can sit here and watch you cry. It's much better. It's shout out to Phil for that breakdown. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> All right. So uh, let, let's wrap to the last one before we open the fight and wrap it up. Flipping heck. All right. So you know I'm gonna be a savage on that one. Because I've had women like that in my life. I've had women cry like that in my life. And I saw how they treated me when I tried to get go in there and be engaged and do what was best for them. Not only when I did it, other men did it, other Gen Xers. We went in and tried our best to solve it. And we, after we gave our resources, we were treated horribly. I mean, absolutely horribly. So I, now I'm just like, okay, I understand better. Oh, you, you're having an eviction? I'm sure you'll figure out where to put your stuff. Okay. Your, your child doesn't have shoes? It must be hard. Okay. Your, your ex is trying to get 50% or 90% custody of your kid. You don't know what to do? boy, that's a hard thing to deal with. Okay. I don't even give any consolation. I don't even give my ear. Nothing. And that's exactly what they deserve. Okay. All right. So, do you, do you want to open up the phone or do you want to write some more clips? Up to you, brother. Let's, let, let's do some more clips. I think that would be more valuable to you at this point. Okay. The, right, one, so... the one I like is when they about to get evicted and they have no place to go and I have a house and I actually have a place where I could put them, and I say no. <laughs> I, just, I just sit back and I'm like, oh yeah, I want to see you suffer. Go ahead, lady, go ahead, go go for it. Oh, I don't have any place to go. Oh yeah, I remember when that was for me, and you had all this stuff to say to me. Okay, let's see how it is with the foot as the shoes on the other foot. Let's see how it's like. Okay. <laughs> so I, I, I got a clip here, brother, about in regards yeah. to Japan. So let, let's see this one. <laughs> rate among Japanese women is quite high, yet their husbands seem unfazed. Firstly, while infidelity among Japanese women is high, it doesn't mean all men are indifferent to it. Many husbands indeed feel pain and anger, but they choose to remain silent, perhaps because societal pressures make it difficult for them to openly discuss the issue, fearing they'll be seen as failed husbands or inadequate men. Secondly, the high infidelity rate in Japan is also linked to several societal factors. For instance, Japan's economic situation isn't rosy, many families face immense pressure Men often have to work long hours to support their families, while women are burdened with household chores and childcare. Under this pressure, communication between spouses diminish, leading to emotional detachment. In such circumstances, many women seek infidelity as an escape from reality, while husbands choose silence to maintain family harmony. Additionally, Japan's societal norms play a role. Japanese marriages are traditionally male-centric, with husbands expected to shoulder the financial responsibility, while wives are expected to devote themselves entirely to household chores and child care. This traditional mindset fosters a tolerance towards wives' infidelity, viewing it as a form of release or seeking alternative satisfaction, without substantially affecting the marriage. In summary, Japan leads the world in female infidelity rates, and Whoa. the phenomenon of husbands not minding is both a continuation of traditional Japanese views and a result of modern societal pressures. What do you think? Japan leads the world in female infidelity rates. Brother, I, when I hear that feel, I'm getting worried here, bruv. You know? Japan leading the world in infidelity rates. What's going on there, bro? Like, no. You know? No. Oh, oh. No. No, 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 that's a Becky sad that she can't keep a Western man because Japanese women got her man. That's what we're talking about right there. Japan leading the world in infidelity, Japanese women doing that. No, don't, don't. That's a smear campaign. They don't even come close to other countries. Like, no, Japanese women are not like this at all. Now, now there is some infidelity, but the men are also have issues of infidelity. And that's had, that's been an issue back in the samurai time and they have ways of dealing with this which is true 
but largely speaking, Japanese women are are not don't have any infidelity. And when she's talking about men, women having to have house chores and have house things. The woman takes the man's salary. The man has no salary. So she has, the woman actually has a lot of free time and she has nothing to do. And she has a house that's given to her. She doesn't have to work for her house. So she actually has the Japanese woman, the Japanese wife has one of the highest standard of living in the G7. So this woman, what she's talking about, again, smear campaign against Japanese women who successfully take Western men in mass. That's all this is. That's it. They don't have any degree of high infidelity like this. Like not, nothing like she's talking. Obviously, feel right. Uh, I take your word very seriously. You lived in Japan for multiple years, so you were in in the heart of it. You were in the middle of it, brother. Right. But obviously, mm-hmm. over the past couple of months, Japan has been in the spotlight, particularly in regards to cheating, right? Infidelity rates, brother, and it's got a lot of possible panicking. You know, a lot of black men do like Japanese chicks, and brother. I tell you, for you, I think black men and Japanese women go well together. They've always meant to be together, brother, right? So, but cheating is something that I, I hate seeing women do, particularly Japanese chicks. A lot of bros are a bit worried there. But you, you live there, Theo? What, 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 what did you observe there when it came to infidelity, brother, amongst Japanese women, brother? Is it as hyped up as it, as it should be? Is it underreported? Is it overreported? What's going on there, bro? Because we're worried, brother. Break it down for us. The guys who are not loyal were the western men i mean if you want really want me to be honest the guys who were running running getting their end counts up were the western guys so i mean you want me to be honest it wasn't the japanese women that's for sure um japanese men were somewhat with the women but yeah i mean there's a lot of guys who are who are again herbivore man or so they were um grass eaters they just weren't de- doing anything with the women at all they weren't engaged in w- relationships um but as the women like the wives doing this level no way man Mm-mm. it's just not them so bro, what's going on with japanese dudes and so it appears that a lot of japanese dudes know that the wives are cheating on them and they didn't say nothing about it bro what's going not on really there? no 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 um if that kind of stuff goes on, yeah, there's craziness that would go inside the house. It's not that it's not like this. No, no, no. <laughs> don't, this, don't again. This is a Becky trying to discourage you from going out with Junko. That's it. Understand that because she wouldn't dare say this kind of words in Japan to Japanese people. They, they 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 would look at her and say, "You don't know what the hell you're talking about." Okay, okay, Fio. Um, brother, so uh, uh, what's your advice to passport bros who are you know panicking right now? Uh, who what's your tip for them, bro? So go out there and find your wifey in Japan. Be be aware that you're dealing with a Japanese woman. She has her culture is stronger than yours. You know, so you need to to understand that understand where she's coming from understand that she's going to be a great girlfriend and it's touch and go regarding her as a wife so you need to understand that situation is is actually really correct and um see what she actually thinks about her um her role as a wife and if she has various i think this is shinjuku station um if if she has various opinions about being a wife or if she can finally say it then you can figure out if it's she, if she's wifeable many of these women are not really wifeable um not for a keisha reason but just because the women don't really have an idea of what it is to be a wife um in, in that situation we have an issue um but a lot of the women do know what it is to be a wife and they make great wives so you know you just have to vet her really well Awesome, awesome. And we have a stream on how to vet Japanese chicks or how to vet women in general that we touched yep. upon a couple months ago. Thank you, Phil, for that. I've been in the supermarket. I know where the I know where the supermarket is. <laughs> yeah. Doko. I know this is Shinjuku. I'm pretty sure all oh. of this is Shinjuku. Yeah, this is one of the best um supermarkets I, I ever went to in Tokyo. Man, I would buy like crazy over there. 
It was good. This is, this is some good food. Organic as well. Oh yeah, organic. Oh yeah, tasty, tasty food, man. You oh, were she. when you were in when you were in Shinjuku. You were really close to one of the best places to go shopping. I mean, I wish I could have explained it to you. All these places, I'm like, while well, she's walking through, I'm like, oh yeah, I've been there. I know, I know how to turn. Like, why don't you turn this way? I know exactly where she's at. So yeah, this is a really good popular area. Awesome, awesome, nice. All right, uh, let's do one more clip for you. Okay. All right, so let's react to this one over here. <laughs> she wants to say the Japanese women cheat more. In their countries, so they're going to expect something. Oh. You'll be lucky if you have a, meet a family. In the majority mm -hmm. of foreigner countries, they're going to expect something. Oh. You'll be lucky if you have a, meet a family and they're not asking you to buy them this or buy you that. Or the wife or husband says, oh, you know, I have to send some money over to my family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the thing with Western people. Most Western girls think that these people in the foreign countries are not smart. They think they're all stupid. The majority of them are actually smarter than the people here in in, the, in America. So I'm just going to say the Filipinos because there's a lot of Filipino nurses. Guarantee. Like you go to hospital, guarantee you, you're going to see a Filipina nurse when you think about it. You see Filipinos everywhere. Teachers, they're very smart people. Majority of the times when and they go, they're just family oriented. They don't care about you, how much money you have. That's why I told you it's different. And this is from experience, I'm telling you. But you're talking about nurses now. So it's just majority of times you go over there, they don't care. These people are smart people. They're not stupid. They're very smart and they don't need your money. They're just, they, they're, they're just, their mentality is just like, I want to take care of the family, take care of the, my husband, make sure my husband's happy. And they're not poor. Like people think that for some reason they're all poor over there. They're not poor. These people are smart. They're very well educated people. And that's, that's the problem. Most Western people think, oh, because this guy's flying, he's looking for someone stupid, someone poor, someone can do whatever he wants. No, these people are smart. These people are nurses, doctors, they're, they're teachers and all that stuff. They think they can't speak English. Just their second language is English. That's the men, but that's the problem. The mentality of people in the West, they think that these girls are stupid. That's what it is. At the end of the day, they think they're stupid and they're not. Well, if you go for a family that it has money, then I don't see them trying to get money from you. But yeah, if you go for a, a more poor or middle family, it might come up. Okay. I would, I would say majorities are, are not. Facts. And I, I think uh, it's, I think it's very ignorant of West women to call foreign women stupid or not smart mm -hmm. or scammers. Uh, I've, I've been to Morocco. I've been to Germany. I've been to Japan, Panama other countries and i've had interesting intellectual conversations with foreign women deep conversations conversations that i could never have with, uh, with a western chick right i could never have uh, uh, with a western chick foreign women are a lot more smarter than western women okay and western women are jealous of foreign women because guess what foreign women are taking their men they're taking western men so mm -hmm. foreign men don't want western women western men don't want western women you're going to choose them. So, so they're angry at the women that are taking the men. You know, foreign women are amazing. They're smart, they're feminine, they're intellectual. You can have great conversations with them. The woman in the video has no idea what she's talking about. Can we, can we please put some respect on foreign women's names? Please. Give them respect. Well, she's horrified of, of Filipinas. And for good reason, because Filipinos are almost perfect wives. Poor over there. So They're not. She knows full well that she cannot compete against a, a Filipina. Now, Filipinas, um, in the family structure, it is expected that if you marry a Filipina, that you're supposed to give a little bit of money uh, to the parents. It's a hundred, two hundred dollars a month, something like that. Um, that is a system. A hundred, two hundred dollars. I don't even care. Why? Because your Filipino wife is going to be making food, cleaning the house, talking to you, and she's going to be doing things with you that you can only find on IP's Patreon with the explicit explanations that I can't talk about here. And since I know what how Filipinas get down, paying $200 a month to her parents kind of as respect money is not an issue you won't even care about that because that filipino wife isn't 
in it for the bag. She's in it for you. You are the bag to her. So she wants you inside of her all the time. And it's a fun thing to deal deal with. Uh, so when this woman is tucking, only thing I'm thinking is resource transfer, um, blocking. She's trying to block. There's an express. I cannot say the expression, but there's women try to like block men from dealing with different women. The same kind of idea. She's trying to block the men from going to better options. Um, this is basically like a man who's well off. He's going to the BMD dealer, and he's you know he's driving his car in, and the used Ford salesman puts up a bunch of barricades and gets a gun out and starts shooting at this guy and to try to deter him from going and getting a, another BMW or getting his BMW serviced. No, nah, man, don't believe the hype. You know, get your BMW with W serviced, go get a Filipino. Um, Filipino women are amazing wives. You will not go wrong with one. And again, go to IP's Patreon. There are things I, I cannot say. I've already recorded with his with explicit content. <laughs> like I am not joking around. You, mm, you will be treated very well with a Filipino wife. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. On on the page one, here's a link to it in the live stream chat. Awesome, awesome. So uh, those are all the clips um, that I've got for us to react to that happened this week. Fantastic feel. Uh, do you want to stay on for another 10 minutes or do you want to leave now? It's up to you, but I'll do, I'll do 10 minutes. Like, yeah, I gotta work. Yeah, you guys are giving me the expressions inside the chat. Remember, I, I we have to say it in a certain way online on YouTube, so there's things that I can't, I can't really say. Um, we had women like Western women talking about Filipinas like that. The thing with Filipinas is they're really humble and good women, so if you just respect them. It doesn't matter how poor they are. If you just respect them and say, I, I respect you, who you are as a person, and I'm not even going to talk about where you're from, I'm just going to treat you as an individual and respect you. Um, man, <laughs> it's a good time after that. <laughs> I mean, it's good. Patreon, uh, Patreon. <laughs> Patreon. Well, I'm talking even outside of like just a conversation. The way she treats you is so good. And then you got the Patreon. Um, if you say, for example, to a Western woman, like, I'm just going to respect you no matter what she's going to, man, that's where you lose. She'll treat you like dirt. And it's so, uh, Filipino treats you entirely oppositely from a Western woman. Um, yeah, you saw what I said on Patreon, man, that's, I, I say, I can't talk. I can't put the Patreon with Thai women. So I'm still too scared to say it <laughs> because that was that the memories are just too vivid it's like did i act that way did i actually do that oh my goodness boy what was i doing i wasn't even exercising facts uh so i got a caller uh base Maureen. welcome back brother turn the camera off you're confirmed thank you bro uh brother we've got to do algeria Cape verde but i'm waiting for you bro but let me bring you on brother how you keeping brother you good yeah, I'm good. How are you doing? Hey, not bad, brother. Not bad, brother. Good to hear from you, brother. Um, yeah. nice, nice to hear from you. By the way, bro. Yeah, you know, um, not trying to get into religion, but, uh, you know, this month is Ramadan for us. So mm -hmm. you know, rather than abstain from food, not, not just abstain from food, we abstain and reflect on different things. So you know, I was looking at one of our, our teachers, you know, um, and if I talk too much about him, I'll probably like get carried away and probably have a heart attack. But what he wrote about women just like put me in um, basically in in monk mode times 100 because, I, you know, when you read. Sorry, bro. Sorry, huh? bro. Uh, it, it, uh, uh, is it linked to the live stream topic? Well? Yeah, it's linked to the. Okay. Yeah, it's linked to the topic compare compared to the women he talked about versus what you're getting it's like it, it's like it's almost impossible to get what he said because he said that you know you're you're and he's talking about your wife you know he said that your wife should you know number one fear god number two they should be reserved they should be humble modest and always act discreet uh discreetly 
and not raise their voice. And I hate to say it, but I swear to God as my witness, I have not met one woman in the West who doesn't raise their voice. I have not met one woman in the West who doesn't say F-bombs after every single darn word, okay? So I just like put two to two together and I realized that, you know, and, and I'm really trying to think like, is this really happening? Is this really, really happening? Is this where we are? And I hate to say it, but I really, I really do believe that there are no good Western women left. I swear to God, I believe that. I swear, I, I swear to God, I swear on my, my dad's grave. Like seriously, I swear on my dad's grave. I will, I'm willing, listen, if I die tomorrow for saying what I'm saying, I'll die tomorrow for saying what I'm saying. If I'm wrong, if I'm wrong, let me die tomorrow. Okay, bro. All right. Uh, thanks for that breakdown there, Mr. Uh, uh, Base. Appreciate you, bro, for support no and for calling in. Um, okay, N Ninja, do you want to turn your camera in the background? So it's only not a troll. Ninja, you're confirmed. Thank you, bro. Turn your camera off. Okay, let me, let me bring in Ninja. What's going on, Ninja? Hey, what's up, IPA? What's up, Dio? Oh, nothing what's much. Up, so, yeah. Bro, so are there any sort of things that keep you distracted and controlled in the West? Let us know, bro. Keep you on topic, please. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, it's like like these women here, man. They 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 terrible and everything. It's like, man, like the Blasian chick I was telling you about, no, she's very masculine. She's Nigerian, Filipina, and she's... I, I used to talk to her, but not that much because she's, man, she's masculine, and she said she only dated a feminine, man. Like, what? Like it, it's ridiculous. For, 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 for like, and then a lot of simps follow behind her. Like, man, that that's that's no good at all. That's no good. Then, with, with these simps, is with, even though she's got she got a man right now, she still text these talk to these other guys. That's not good, is it? On Snapchat, Instagram, like, damn, if, if my woman, because the guy is you know a feminine, a simp, and everything, you know, and it's. That's no good, you know. That's, that's how sadly you got a lot, a lot of sims here too that 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 be um that that be listening to these women and everything, you know. That's not a good thing. These these Western women are terrible, you know. If these men okay. was was, all right. Thank you, bro. Okay, thank you, there, Mister Ninja Fifty Five. Appreciate you, bro. Let me bring in Mister uh, Robert Platinum in, in the background. Okay, you you confirm, Robert. Let me bring you in. What's going on, Robert? How you doing, bro? Hey, what's up, Theo? What's up, Mr. Passport? Um, What's up? I didn't want to be brief. Um, is it okay if I share something with y'all in uh, back chat? I just wanted to show you I had to do a, a, a report on the um, culture of the Philippines um, last okay. semester for my psychology class. Please, yeah, definitely. As uh, 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 long as it's PG, Baba, I'm not explicit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just the infographic from the Philippine Statistics Authority. That's the um, Department of the uh, Philippine Government. They keep track of, you know, different um, statistics for the Philippines. I just want yeah, to fine. Um, okay. That's fine, bro. All right. Do you want me to uh, put the link in the um, chat so you can evaluate it? Or? Oh, yeah. How about you? I'll share the screen. Oh, share okay, screen? Uh, okay. Yeah. But, uh, put the link in the private chat and also share your screen if, if, in, in case your screen doesn't work. I'll try and do it myself. Okay. Okay, and brother, if you share your screen, it should be a present, and just share your screen, brother, so we can um, see it, please. Okay. Present, share okay. screen, and look for where it is. We, we got four more okay. minutes. Thank you. Okay. All right. I was about to show you this right here. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, what what are we seeing here? This is an infographic from the uh, Philippine Statistics Authority. It's just like it's really interesting information. You see right here, um, they keep track of. Um, this is like the women's empowerment statistics. They keep keep track of like the first. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Bro. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. All right. Uh, don't mention that part there, please. So anything that's, uh, yeah, don't okay. mention that part. Okay, sure the word. But yeah, I just wanted to show it to you guys. That's all. Okay. 
interesting okay uh, thank you bro thank you okay all right thanks all right. I much appreciate it bro all right thanks for that uh robert let me bring in mr fives in the background thank you bro much much appreciate it, robert uh five turn your camera on in the background so i know you're not a troll please you're confirmed thank you bro thank you bro let me bring in fives in the background what's going on five again bro check check can y'all hear me okay check two one two one two yep loud and clear all right cool um so first off how you guys doing good fantastic bro what did theo say I got, I got. you're on mute for you sorry it, it's been a fun night you know i went savage a few times so i, I like going savage sometimes so it's it's good then people come back like theo did you really go that crazy like yeah i did <laughs> it's it's fun. So anyway, <laughs> what's up, guys? Well, after being entrenched in this for, well, in your case, several decades, I don't really blame you. Um, mm. But so I have quite a few points. I'm only gonna try and uh, get to the like meat and potatoes of all of them because I know y'all are short on time. Um, so a couple of data points just for y'all. So apparently. According to recent Gallup polls, media, mainstream media support uh, and believability is at an all-time low at sub-40%. Um, with things like this and with, um, like, there's other news of a UC Berkeley professor uh, being forced to apologize to students for telling them to leave the Bay Area if they want to have a girlfriend. Um, and that's just the Bay Area. He didn't say Cali or the U.S. He just said his area, right? And things like uh, the Tennessee cop getting 500K payouts for them, um, well, to keep it PG, just saying being an infidelous acts. Yeah, yeah, this stuff is fried. Um, it's no mm -hmm. wonder the, man the manipulation is at an all-time high, that people are basically consuming at an all-time high, that people are trying to they're trying to soften everything as if it's not as bad as it is. And unfortunately there are a lot of people who are falling for it. Um, I am definitely not one of those people. I really just want to go ahead and get out of here ASAP. I would do it tomorrow if I could. Um, but the thing is, is that I recently had a job interview, right? It was with a Japanese uh, company for teaching, right? And I have a few uh, hours to still decide, um, but it was a fairly simple process. You just applied, they looked over your visa, your credentials, they give you the interview. And But the thing is, is that it's, it's so simple to get the process started and to get the ball rolling. And it's so easy for us to do it once we've kind of gotten the meat, like everything out of the way, right? Like um, everything in order. That's why they're afraid. That's why you've got mainstream and letting see media basically fear mongering as they usually do. This is a big reason why I have stopped consuming mainstream media in mass like this since 2018. Not media altogether, but definitely like the um, like the CNN, the Fox, the ABC, all the American broadcasting companies, because it's just straight proper. I mean, there's some, there's propaganda in a lot of things, but that's just straight up lying. Like, I don't believe a word that comes out of the mouth anymore, ever, because it's just kind of like, I I I, I don't I don't believe you. Everything you you're getting advisories not to go to places and they're safe. You're telling me not to invest in things that take off like the freaking moon. You're telling me to not to to stay and try and fight as if it's worth it. But if you look at the end of the Roman Empire, all the men left and stopped fighting. And you wonder why everybody here stopped fighting. It's like, dude, you can't, you can't sit here and convince me that this is worth fighting for. There's a reason mm. for military recruiting shortage. I know. I was in. And Can when I, uh, let, let fear rebut. You need, you need to say something, fear? No, I agree with you. I 100% agree with you, man. Yeah, you're entirely correct. I, I, it's, there are things here that are just not worth fighting for anymore. And it's, no, man. So, we, I mean... I'm also thinking about when the heck I can leave. Um, Cause I mean, if I'm going to study, like let's say I study Spanish, I can still study Spanish if I'm in Colombia, Right. So why don't I just go there and study Spanish and work remotely? Um, that's what it's coming down to. So I have some orders 
of equipment that are coming in. Um, so I'm probably going to go, I'm, I'm going to go abroad myself, wait, come back when the orders come in. I'm going to buy another house here in America, um, put all my stuff over there, get it arranged really nice. And then I'll, I'm going to leave again. So I'll probably be next summer where I can leave permanently. So I, I definitely feel what you're saying. And I do want to apologize, CIP. I was in my bag. I had my notes. Yeah, all right. Uh, blah, blah. I've got to begin another caller, brother. This is the last caller. We're going, we're going to end this stream, okay? All right, thanks for that, Fives. We'll be, we're running on a short time. Dak, can you turn your camera in the background, please? So you know, troll. Dak, you confirmed. Camera off. Thank you, brother. Much, much appreciated. All right, last caller. What's up, Dak? What are you saying, bro? You're on mute, bro. Okay. Uh, what's up? What's up, uh, IP? Theo? Fives? What's going on? What's up? What's, what's yeah. going on, bro? Yeah, man, this is, uh, you know, really, I would like to talk about what you all were saying earlier, though, with some guys just having a fear and certainty and doubt. And I think part of it, too, going what Fives was talking about is from the media, the consumption that we have in the West, whether that be through mm -hmm. the mainstream media or through social media, like the, the Japanese clip that you showed there uh, from this Westerner's perspective. Uh, you know, they, they try to like, you know, tell you as a Westerner, uh, you know, uh, what these women in overseas that, oh, they, they are poor. Uh, they don't like they have to work and toil. That's why they you know, they they, they want to try to essentially take that, you know, that that Western mindset and try to map it to these 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 other areas in other parts of the world. And, and, the, yep. and the thing about it, it's like, you know, folks like yourself that have traveled there and you, it's like that that noise is like a bark with no bite you know when you're there mm -hmm. because like they don't have they don't have that culture they don't have that 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 matriarch uh overseas that they could just go and amplify this this kind of garbage and for me mm. like i think the thing is once you tune out from the media consumption mm. then the other's process is to tune out the fud that's in your mind because that is the next that's the next step um because if you don't get that doubt out of your mind that that's what's gonna that's gonna keep you from trying to take it to the next level it's actually going you know and actually going abroad and, and not coming back a lot of it is is that inner that's an inner oh you can't do it Oh, what, 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 this, the what about isms, you know? So, mm -hmm. um, and I, and it, it's, it's just, it's just things to keep us in prison. It's not something that is a physical shackle, it's a mental shackle. It's FUD. It's FUD. You see how aggressively I go against FUD. Once I identify, I, I'm, I try to go, I try to get rid of it immediately because it's, it's, it's very bad. So, you got women coming out and saying, dating a black man you're gonna be a single mother so don't date the black men the goal is we don't have options then don't date the japanese woman because she's gonna cheat on you that's because the western woman doesn't have options same kind of mentality that's why i'm like no nah, man don't go to don't go to columbia because this will this will that happen to you no man we know what's going on the reality is if you stay in the south side of chicago you're probably not going to make it out. If I could just, exactly you're more likely you're more likely to, to get uh, drugged and 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 deleted in the states than you will abroad. Let's mm -hmm. just let's yep. keep it real. Uh, okay, go on, bro. Last point. So, um, yeah, um, and I'll also make this my closing statement. But um, recently, I had a conversation with a highly educated. Um, uh, person here in the states about Japan, and I actually stopped while they were making their points. They went on for like a half an hour, but I stopped and I asked them, "Have you ever flown there? Have you ever one the life had <laughs> ten toes down and actually tried to immerse yourself, even for a day? Let's just let's just call it a day, right? You lay over." They said no. I immediately laughed and stopped <laughs> talking to them. I took I took your advice, Theo. With there's no points. So my final. <laughs> this is you can't you got to treat it like opposite day you can't believe these people anymore you no. can't no 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 i just always ask them 
ita koto ga arimasu ka? Which means, have you been there? And they're like, uh, no, I haven't. Oh, the dosho, but baka yoro da yore. <laughs> You're a stupid idiot. <laughs> like, like, why are you talking? Like, again, they talk about dating black men. Oh, have you ever dated a black man? No? Okay, then how do you know? <laughs> okay. Oh, come on. All right, so let's wrap it up. Let's wrap it up. Thank you very much, Fives and Dak. Much appreciated, brothers, for calling in. Salute to y'all, okay? Take easy. I'm going to see our brothers next week, okay? All right, so, Theo, um, thank you for your time. Hold on, Theo. Uh, mm-hmm. Shout out to Mr. Uh, Mr. Limelight1 for the support. Appreciate you guys. For my bros, get your passport. Yes, indeed. Shout out to Green Lantern 81 for the support. Super sticker. And shout out to Robert Platinum for the support. Thank you, brother. Theo, any closing statements before we let you go? Um, hey, I kind of had a great time. Um, again, it's always good doing um, a podcast with you. Um, I, lo- I love doing it. I love doing it every Monday. Um, Japanese women still, yeah, still still got a ho- toe hold on me. They're, they're, they are got a tug on me. I just <laughs> met a, another half Japanese woman and I'm just like, wow, you, you just you do it to me every time. Like, Wait, just, what, in, in America? No, no, I met her online. Um, something else but i i i I'm not, i can't date her it's not gonna happen but i mean i'm just like wow you're you're just amazing so if it, i always say if i if it doesn't work out with ukraine then i'm probably gonna marry um uh japanese or filipino or, or thai i'm just gonna let's go get it done um okay. yeah Feels but anyway Japan. let's go yes yeah. <laughs> probably because just... they they got it they just uh it's that's hard. what I'm saying, Phil. Got that look. That's what I'm, that's what I'm telling you, Phil. It's just the, the vibe they give up. They're not perfect vibe, yeah. but the aura of Japanese chicks, like the femininity, the look, it just it draws you in, bruv. Like yeah, oh it, it draws you in. It just does. But you gotta you gotta talk to them and say, like, okay, what do you really think is going on in relationships? Let's just talk. But anyway, uh yeah, I gotta go back to work. But uh great time talking with you. Look forward to doing it next week. My birthday is Wednesday, so I made it to, I'm gonna make it to 51 unless I I, I die in the next 24 hours. Uh, so look forward to God that. Forbid. Yeah, I know my class will go crazy. Uh, anyway, <laughs> talk to you guys later. Great, great show. Bye bye. Happy birthday, brother. Okay, take it easy, bro. Okay, uh, feels birthday on Wednesday. Um, uh, yep, uh, we, we, uh, we can catch it for you on on Wednesday on his birthday, fifty one. That's a big, big year, man. May feel live many, many more years on this. Uh, thank you, feel. We appreciate you, bro. Okay. So shout out to um, James. Uh, 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 let's talk on uh, Percy, brother. We'll, we'll talk on uh, tomorrow, bro. Okay. Uh, but I got to end the stream, brother. Okay. I got, I got to wrap it up, man. Shout out to Mr. Inspired Truth uh, Podcast for the support. Just dropping in. Uh, keep at it. Thank you, brother. Support uh, for the support. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it, man. All right. So everyone say happy birthday to Theo on the live stream chat, please, before we end the live stream. Say happy birthday to Theo. It is his birthday on Wednesday. I don't think I'll do a stream on Wednesday. Maybe I will, uh, but for a different stream, okay? Um, but if, if I don't, for some reason, can we just say happy birthday to Theo right now in the live stream chat? Theo has done a lot for the brothers, for the community, for the channel, my channel as well. And I appreciate Theo for his time, his intelligence, and his hard work for changing the lives of many black men over the years. So everyone, say happy birthday to Theo. Uh, on in the live stream chat, please, as a as a form of respect and a form of thank you for his hard work. He's been through a lot in this life, okay, and he's come back strong. He's a fighter. He's a smart man, and he's an inspiration to me. He inspires me every day to keep on pushing, keep on studying, and keep on believing in myself, man. So happy birthday, Theo! Many many more years. If I have a stream on Wednesday. We're going, we're going to uh, celebrate your birthday as well. So you'd be best calling on that stream on Wednesday, brother. And then we, we're going to sing happy birthday to you, brother, or at least say happy birthday to you in general, brother, and give you thanks there. So happy birthday, Theo, and thank you to all you do. Are you, are you still there, Theo? Are you still in the chat? Are you still around, Theo? Everyone say happy birthday to you, Theo. Are you still here, Theo? <laughs> or, or, or are you are you back to work, bro? <laughs> Give us a sign, Phil. Give us a sign. Yeah, give us a sign like X Files. <laughs> give us a sign like X Files or Roswell. Yeah, I remember Roswell back in the day. Roswell. 
I am pain. I can't sleep. I won't cry until you're resting here with me. I... Classic, man. Classic. Those were the days, early 2000s, man, early 2000s. Um, but now I don't watch TV anymore. So I don't know, I don't watch on TV. I don't know what's hot anymore. So shout out to you, Theo, man. Shout out to Bubba's hit the super chat. Let me check the PayPal one more time. Hold on. Let me check the PayPal. Uh, PayPal. Let me see. <laughs> PayPal. Oh. This is what's happening on the PayPal. Okie dokie. So shout to okay, no, that's that's it. That's cool. All right. Okay, awesome. All right, brothers. Yeah, Roswell. Yep, Roswell. If you know, you know Roswell. I, I used to I used to watch that all the time, man. I miss those days, man. No, no woke stuff, no agendas, just just straight, just straight, you know good tv you know and uh uh i've not i've not watched tv in in a long time but i don't i don't even have a tv i don't have a tv bruv i don't have a tv you know um it is what it is i, I got i got better things to do than watching tv you know so shout out to you brothers man and i'll see you brothers again for another video Peace out. Have a great week ahead. Have a great Monday. Salute to all of y'all. Thank you very much.